on, come on, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. You're in. Fuck you, Ruby. You're going to the motherfucking moon. <sighs> okay. Come on. Come on. Yes! 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 Let me in. Let me in. Okay, we've only got 907 people in front of us. Yes! Okay, I thought this was going to be worse. I thought this was going to be so much worse. <laughs> Your friend has crashed four times. I crashed once. I only crashed once. So we're just like, come on, let me, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> It's just I just wanna I just wanna play the game. I just wanna play the game. Oh. oh, that number is going down quicker than expected. You know, I thought that I was going to like, okay, it'd be fine. I'll just like continue playing inscription. Nah, nah, we're just sitting here, we're staring at the screen until it changes. 300 How? How are you that quick in the queue? Fuck the game for crashing on me. I was a good kid. I took off all my mods and everything else. Just like, let me in. I'm just going to sit here and eat on a yig. You gotta work me in 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Good luck. I mean, ho hopefully you can like run that on the side while also trying to get in. I just want to be in the game. That's all I want. That is the only thing in the universe I want right now. <gasps> We're taking down, boys! Oh my gosh. Come on. I mean, to be fair, like, we have had, like, some streamers and stuff join Diabolo, so I'm actually, like, really surprised we're not in the thousands at the moment. If this crashes, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Don't even put that into the universe, Elise. I mean, they've done all that they can to try to mitigate um, us crashing here or like keeping like the servers stable enough where we can play. Oh, I'm going to cry if it crashes. Like, it's not going to be like a danger for anybody but me. I'm not going to start chewing on people. I just want my dragoon husband to carry me off into the dis- Ah! 682! I mean, that depends on who's asking. Hi, Gar. Mm. Yeah, it's happening. We're getting Inwalker right now. You wish to be nommed? No. The only nomming that's happening right now is me on some uh, boiled eggs. Six oh seven. I mean, Gar, have you tried? It is it's very much a game that I recommend playing with people that you know. Um, which very loudly join the Abolo, so I will hold your hand through the whole thing. Um. Yeah, I got like, I got like four to five hours of sleep. Oh, love you too, Woes. Thank you. I, yeah, I, I mean, I got as much as I think I was going to manage. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I should have like posted about the, uh, 
the next chapter of the fanfic in the Discord, but I didn't. <gasps> Izzy, you can! Hello, darling! You're up four hours at a dance for this. 530! Uh, blast to get Gunbreaker if you like you rush and miss a lot of the story. I mean, bye, Elise. <laughs> Can't believe Elise gave it for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I I do too. I'm so excited. Like, dear God. Um, you're leaving now. All right, bye, Kira. Um, I mean, Gar, like, legitimately, if you want to go back and play through things, like, it's one thing that I always say is, like, if you, I mean, what, do you, what point are you even at right now, Kira? Um. It's one of those things, like, I highly recommend people to at least try to read through the story. Like, you will, 458, um. I had a lot more fun in the game after I stopped trying to just, like, get to the end of the game so I can play with my friends. Like, no. People can, um... Oh, so you're, like, 25-ish, then, in MSQ. You were Pokeballed? Oh, no. Um... My yeah, no, no, no. It's supposed to be that way. Where this is a filter, um... Like, we have... Non-filtered... And then filtered. So the background colors, um, it makes Morgan look like she's more in the scene. You just want these new jobs? Understandable. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really recommend, like, if you feel like you're missing things, like, 100%, go back and play through the game. Like, just go back and play through it. Either pick up new game plus, or, pick, like, start a new character. Um, like, the, the classes will be there. <gasps> We, th we had a big drop there. Let's fucking uh, go! Um. Um. If. No. You don't hit raids until after level 50. 874 on Siren. That's about where we started at. Um. Like. Dungeon? Yes very possible that you had a dungeon you do like your big i mean you can make you can make him again you could make any other kind of character like we're getting bunny boys i can't wait until i can make my bunny boy <laughs> oh he's gonna be terrible he's gonna be the he's gonna be the worst gremlin and i'm gonna love him so much i cannot wait to put him in a thavarian bustier he is gonna look so fucking good I mean, if you want to do that stuff with me, you just have to let me know when you're on and when you're playing. Which characters? I'm, I'm Bunny Boy is gonna be a new character because I'm gonna. I okay. So we're ha we have a twofold attack when it comes to me playing with my Bunny Boy. All right. The first phase is talk to all the NPCs in between quests to like get to know them. Um. I mean, I'm still gonna have to do like we're in two hundreds. Um, yeah, <laughs> alt, alt, alt. I don't know where I'm gonna put him though. I might, I might actually put him on Zelaria. Maybe that would make Ruby happy. Um, truth of the deep. No, <laughs> fuck you, Kai. <laughs> um, but um, like. I, I'm not I'm not sure where I'm gonna put him, but like the the two the two parts that are gonna go into playing him is one side I'm talking to all my favorite in between NPCs in between every quest Should be asleep anyway. Yeah, um, and then on the other side of that I I mean you're not losing me forever. You're just losing me for a couple of weeks um, And then the other side of it is going to be how fast can I get to Kurthus? <laughs> how fast? Fast, can I get to Karthus just so I can see my Archifant? Please, I need him. <gasps> Sub 200. Let's fucking go. 
Come on, let me in, 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 let me in. There, the only way anybody is getting me to hit this cancel button is if they give me 10 grand right now. That is the only way that I'm hitting cancel. And I'm getting right back in queue. Like, there, there's very, very few things that you can... I just... Uh, let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Please. Kite, you're already getting your Christmas present. Don't just shush. Shush. Go look at, uh, <gasps> someone under you, let's fucking go. Uh, go look at Maury's stream stuff. Go look at that. There's your Christmas present. I'll have it set up after we're done with Endwalker Madness. I want chicken nuggies. Come on. Come on, let me in, let me in. Just let me in, let me in, please. I promise, I promise I'll be a good tank. I'll turn on my stance. I, ah, ah, Rosie. <laughs> me elbowing my friends that are already in. Let me in too. <clears throat> Because, I mean, I'm going to have to, like, get through this, and then I'm going to have to make my way to, uh, fucking Mordona. <gasps> yes! Let's go, 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 let's go. <laughs> All right. What do you mean, Oath Gauge unlocked? Shush. This item has been moved to my- wait, what? I have- do I have to, like, go get another one? Hello? Hello, game? Alright, let me very quickly actually do, like... Oh, is this what- <laughs> okay. <laughs> let me pull Venture stuff real quick. Yep, everybody's currently at maximum level, I know that game. You almost forgot to log out in and in, yeah. Come on, let me get through to, uh... Come on, come on, there we go. There's Snoy. Bam. There we go. Ooh, neat. Okay. Let's see, um, oh, I forgot actually to take all my belts off, so, let's see, armory chest, just, yep, no belt. Oh, look at that space! Okay. Um, do I manage things right quick before we start? Actually, I might do that right quick. Um, mm. You know what? No, I'll worry about it later. No, we're not at the moon yet. Hell, right now I'm just... <laughs> I am in Ishgard. <laughs> I'm not even in Mordona. Which is where I need to be. Um, all right. Yeah. Is that not my button? Transway map button. Oh, am I not plugged in? Oh, that's the problem. I'm not plugged in. There we go.
All right, where? Those all go to the pillars. Western Highlands. That one just goes to Foundation. Dravania. Today on, I'm testing my own knowledge on the best way to get out of uh, Ishgar to uh, get where I need to go. SS Law, Sea of Clouds. Yeah, it's just going to be out through main and then, okay. G Shade is working. I mean, I, my only thing is I'm worried about Mordona being so overloaded that um, it's going to take me forever to get there. Oh, look at this UI! Oh my, yes! Yes, I love this. I love this. I love this. Let's go. Faster login with less people near you. Yeah. I, I've never seen this man with a quest before. Hello. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mordona is instanced. Oh, okay. Why is that open? There we go. That's Ishgard housing. Oh, oh, yes. I keep forgetting that we're getting Ishgard housing. I cannot wait. Like that is that is where I am um, hopefully going to be buying a house since I've, you know, gotten six mil. Moon doing the thing where, uh... Alright. Alright, to Mordona we go. You crashed by I too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, the housing market just got better for everybody in this game. <clears throat> oh. Oh no. Mm -hmm. They added one non esthetician hair for female Fiera. Oh no. Having dreams in this economy? I, you know what? You're right. Is it good hair is the next question? Oh, to reduce congestion, the area you are about to enter in has been divided into multiple identical instances. Uh, no preference. You can't check them. Uh, you'll be able to hopefully check them soon. Wait, where is our MSQ? Where is our MSQ? You never finished my point of my life on Blair! <sighs> Alright, yeah, no, just the same the same voice lines or the same lines for right now, so <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Hi Alfie. The next ship to sail. Morrigan, do you have some time to talk? I would like to gather everyone in Dawn's respite and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. This is the first cutscene of the new expansion! Let us take stock of, the, stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. We have since learned that said structures were brought in by being in by being an organization ugh, into being by an organization known as the Telophoroi. The Telophoroi's stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already have these towers of theirs been been the cause of untold suffering. Yeah, you can. 
Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their faith perverted for primal sub summonings. And unless we can find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem to be able to resist being tempered, at least. But after what happened to Arnvold and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. Yeah, uh, while these threats close to home are of paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. Two of them. As you know, the Tlofroy are under the leadership of Fan Daniel and one other delightful fellow, Xenosia Galvis, the crown prince and our dear friend. It definitely is. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varus, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Succession, but that has since changed in, tr in untroubling ways. Aye, during our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. It was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket that ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered, and with nary a word spoken did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. If they were, if they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events, too, were orchestrated by the Tulofaroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear that it that it is only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, before our allies are overwhelmed. We will find a way in Charlian, I am sure of it. Master Fulton, uh, Fortunal, uh... Fortune knows um, comments regarding the final days were cu curious to say the least. The forum knows more than it's letting on. Sorry to interrupt. We've just received word that Miss uh, for Mistress Kyle, she says the arrangements for the arrangements for your visit have been finalized. Oh, let's fucking go! We're going to Charlie and boys. And the music picks up too. You're to head to Limsa Lomensa and board the next ship bound for Charlian. And on arrival, present yourselves as associates of the students of Aldacian. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. I love him! I love her! Hatsi is so much, dude! Ah, the arrangements may be settled, but what of your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I am eager to see it, of course, of course. <clears throat> we should set off at once. I just, I want to pick Graha up and put him in my fucking pocket. Then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. Oh, Tataru! Oh, I love her! I just love everybody in this game so much. I, I like the tiny moment that we get with Alphano. It just like, with all that we've been through with him, it's just like having that like that 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 that, that little half second of just like. <sighs> hey, Femi, how you gonna hold up, girl? Safe journeys, and please do be careful. And there's nobody else here. Oh my gosh, I'm not used to um, the area being this empty. All right, well, back to Limsa. I am surprised that I was able to just hit Limsa like this. All right, where are we going? Tataru? Fairy Docks? Thought so. So, Arcanist Guild. I love this! Oh my gosh, this is such a boon for new players, too. Mm. 
There are so many people here! Where's Tataru? Where is Tataru? <laughs> Hold on, I need a friend screen. <laughs> Everyone's here, which is good because I've already paid for your passage and the fee is non-refundable. The ship for Charlian should pull into port soon, so please follow. Uh, so please follow me and have your luggage close at hand. Are we immediately going to a scene? Okay, we are. <laughs> I should have talked to everybody first. Ah, oh, it's okay. Are we seeing my wonderful pirate husband again, or are we going with somebody else? Oh, we look so out of place. Everyone's here. You don't say it's our <laughs> They've almost finished loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule. Or so I'm told. Excellent. It is nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. Hate yourself for doing the new stuff as white me. <laughs> Godspeed, Moon. Godspeed. It's funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. You actually shouldn't have QE issues to answer. Now, yeah, there's going to be plenty of people later, running um, heels, I feel like. Friended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Aye, tis upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's whims are brought into sharp relief. <laughs> thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis of his purse scant moments after he made landfall <laughs> upon this door? Getting called up as your husband. <laughs> Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. When do we get that pose? I, I would like to yoink that immediately. Will this be your first visit to Charlie and Sir Estinium? I keep forgetting that he actually is Sir because he's a knight. Sir Estinium? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? <laughs> Why this stiff formality? I, uh, merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. Oh, poor Alfie! I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. <laughs> or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. <laughs> Oh, he's sassy! Oh, he is- I- Dear God, I picked a good husband. <laughs> You've made your point, Estinian. <laughs> oh my gosh, I- I love everyone so fucking- <laughs> Look at him! Better. Okay, I- <laughs> A little bit, but Alphano is very easy to tease. Just the smile, God. Sinny loves him so much. Oh. Are you all right, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. Rah. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. She's gonna miss us. It's just, we're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. And, once again, I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friend. Sorry, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. 
I'll bring them back safe and sound, I promise. No sense in worrying about things for I'll bring them back safe and sound, I promise. Also, look at her! Please, please just perceive Morgan. Please perceive her. Oh, good. Hi! Yes! And Coleman! Yes, the boyfriends are here! Hori! Coltenay! What brings you all this way? Coltenay. Fucking French names. We're to assist the maelstrom and the cobbles with a back having food. Approach. Well, if you so don't want spoilers, you might want to run Mercy. Q um, was not bad. And the others wish you all a safe <laughs> French well, derogatory. Things here until you return. We will too, of course. I. We, your fellow signs of the seventh dawn, <laughs> will do our part to ensure the end of the world. Won't With happen absolute on our pleasure, watch. Doge. I know I am too. It'll probably get worse as more people wake up. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I'm very surprised that we got in as quickly as we did. I was expecting to wait for like an hour or more. We set the sail. All aboard for Charlian. It's time. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn all about you. Wish us luck. Hmm. Have a safe journey, and please, please be careful. What? You can? Poor Sods, who's had the Fantasia's writings just now finished their bunny boys. Yeah. I I don't doubt that at all. Like, I, I know me making my bunny boy is going to take a while, too, so. And so you venture forth unto the unknown. A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. Now me trying to decide if that this is... which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Don't start this already, Endwalker! You're not allowed to start Treasure making me stress. Every, moment, every oh. step of your descent. There we go. Talking about a scent? Oh no. I just I can't decide if that's a there, in the depths where souls and stars rest. Find your truth. <sighs> okay. Luckily you're busy this weekend, otherwise you'd be struggling to actually start 14. Understandable. I I can't decide if that's a voice that we know or not. There's Charlian. Because, like, I can't tell if that would be Emmet's voice just because I don't recognize it with, um, with these headphones. Like, I haven't heard him talk with these yet, so I don't think that that was his voice, but you're pretty sure it is. Oh, man, it sounds so different with these headphones then. Oh, I love the music, but it also... Hi, Kiawa! Big warning! This is Endwalker! This is Endwalker! If you have not started Endwalker and you want to be not spoiled, go away! If you do not want to be spoiled for Endwalker, run away! The day has barely dawned. My fellow earlier riser. Though we're hardly alone in that. 
Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. Oh my god, this is gonna be so gay when I have uh, Wilhelmina here. Oh my fucking god. And the pauldron Good covers up that, you, you, you know, Morgan's talking. Understandable. I also, I hope that you had a good stream. I saw that you were teaching people uh, League, right? In any case, I dare say One game bundle nerves to another. Hope the stream goes wonderfully. Ah, yeah. Deck. Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. Only if you join me, Raha. Join me. Grab your hands, a cat boy. Grab your hands. Come with me. Switch, uh, by Phasma Hunts. Sandwich by Phasma Hunts. Nice. Hopefully y'all had fun. I love Graha. <sighs> Is there a way to switch to audio only on desktop? I'm not sure. Also, just, I am... Just enjoy the glam. I love this glam so much. I have my theories about who this is. I have my theories about who this is. My voice yet reaches you. I am glad. <sighs> Here. <gasps> okay, so I'm 95% certain about who this is now. And thus do we meet face to face at last. My warrior of love. They are actually putting Heidelin as her name. Okay, okay, hi. Why now, Heidelin? I can trust your words no longer. Oh, oh, this, wait, this is where we, this is where it starts. I Oh, I want to use I mm. I want to say both of these things, but I can't. <sighs> yeah, no, I like flat out like Morgan hasn't trusted her in two ex like since Midgar so much she has not trusted Heidelin. So it's just Oh, I just can't decide if it's the angry why now or the flat I can trust your words no longer. <sighs> why now? Why now? Actually, that is the that is the more pressing question because like she doesn't need to know that we don't trust her. After your sojourn in Fuss, I believe you have your answer. No, I don't! I wouldn't ask if I didn't know. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Heidelin has always been. A primal. I mean, we did see a little bit split from Zodiac, so... Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth... Hi, Elise! This is Endwalker! Run away! This is Endwalker if you don't want to be spoiled for Endwalker. Yeah, spoilers! Go! Yeet! Away with you! This is why we're awake! It's Endwalker Day! Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. Oh, so each rejoining strengthened Zodiac as well. Okay, okay, okay. That That is making more sense. Not just, like, why they were bringing the planets together to, like, reform their lost loved ones, but... <sighs> the greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift is no longer mine to wield. Yeah, I, I understand that, Mercy. So I'm fairly certain... I'm very certain that this is Vanat. He 
even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Phelan printing now, you're still used to Discord. Understandable. You'll remember nothing by the time you get here. I can't wait to play through the expansion, forget everything, and then restart it, and then relearn everything again. Not having context helps, yeah. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. <sighs> okay, so she is definitely talking about a promise that was made to a Zim. Oh, cold chills! Your peepers to the fore, folks. Charlians, just over yonder. <sighs> I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart. <laughs> yes, she's talking about him. Familiar land. Absolutely. We shall meet again, and soon. Goodbye, Hydalin. <laughs> Zem two step all over her face. I mean, mm. oh, what a fine morning! Oh, oh still a bit stiff though. Ma'am, you're sixteen. And a good morning to you too. Taking a look at the island already? Uh, yeah, I want to see Shirley. I want to see Shirley. Then let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. Aww, how is he so fucking cute? I love my daughter. Hi, husband's already awake too. Ah, the sleepers have arisen. Oh, the music. <gasps> there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. <sighs> home, home at last. Well, maybe not in father's eyes, but we'll manage on our own if we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Tell him! Indeed. Is as Sir Estinian saith. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. I prithee. Found family time. Let's go. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. Gonna break that voice back and hug no mood. Concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. Just as long as there's something for me to smack, Tola, because you're gonna do all the book reading. I'm just gonna, I'm just here to smack things. Particularly Fortuno, because he made my children sad. All the gay parents, like Alfie and Ali, yep. I miss that. Anyways, it's fine. Wholesome backbreaking. <laughs> Here's the moon. Title card! Yes! And Walker, let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Ha. Huh. I'm okay. I'm okay. I promise I'm okay. Charlia, the solitary island nation of the northern yep. sea. Yep. That is that's Emmet Salk's voice. Oh no. Why well, do I I'm have to listen to my husband here? Deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. Once they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. I mean, we literally know we're going to the moon already. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. Judge them harder, baby boy. More than empty, old Charlian. I have cold chills. I have fucking cold chills. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. Bye, Kai. Yeah, I will. I, I'm surprised I haven't cried yet. Hasn't Charlie and Orbit severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without game launched. Me. I know the right. title screen just like ah. Ha, ha. <sighs> Tis true that as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. You're already crying. Understandable mercy. Like I said, I'm very surprised I didn't start crying at the title screen. I think I'm too excited to cry. But from a practical standpoint. An island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. May. Quite. So let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Understandable. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates. Um, this is the last expansion in the Hydaelyn Zodiac saga. 6.1 starts an entirely new arc. But no, this is not the end of Final Fantasy XIV. They literally have 10 years of content that they are already working on and already have planned. So, like, like legitimately, we are the biggest MMO in the world right now. There is no way that they're just going, oh, this is the last expansion. Goodbye. Having trouble connecting to the data center. Oh, no. Um, Baldessian. Yeah. Yeah, no. So, uh, catch me playing this game for the next 10 years of my life. Grahatia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? <gasps> Raha getting to lead us around for once? Grab, grab your hands. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? His voice actor has mellowed his voice out just a little bit, I think. Or it might be the new headphones. One of the two. I'm not complaining. I love this. Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. I love this hair. Is this new for Lollabells or is this just one that I haven't seen? Actually, now that I think about it, um, Coco might have this hair. But cute! Cute Lollabell. I am. Grahat here of the students of Baldessian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorsian survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My Old, okay. My associates here will provide additional support. It's just one that I never see on, um, Lala's, at least like in MSQ. 
It's the one people call the Karen hair. Ah, I mean, it's cute. And now we wait. Very good. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. You don't know how to feel about these dancer changes? Some few of your can we pause for a smoke break? <laughs> if you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. Nope, I am, uh, I am Ishmael barreling Rui. through on this. See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with the citizen registry kept in the main repository. Ooh, that's handy. I'll have to see about the answer changes. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Now, who do we have here? Her voice actor is very, very good. I love her. Alphano Leveilleur. And Alizé Leveilleur. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that, the streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young progeny. You- you don't just bring that shit up, ma'am. And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid... exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. Ma'am, don't make my children feel bad. I will fight you. We shall keep that in mind. <laughs> Alphano read at 12.45 a.m. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. Hmm. Name and occupation? Morgan Eldana, adventurer by trade, Morgan Eldana, artisan, Morgan Eldana, champion of AORC. Yeah, we're gonna go with artisan. I do have several, several crafters at 80. Indeed. Your profile describes you as an adventurer, but one also trained in the rather more constructive pursuits of procurement and production. You may enter. I actually need to take a look at my, you, um... Sir? List. Oh, don't fuck this up, Estinian. I don't want you going home. Estinian Valino, formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. That's a last name change. You like the cheekiness of Champion of Aeorzea? Yeah, yeah. On one of my playthroughs, I'm definitely clicking that, but not on not on this one. That feels like a Wilhelmina Formally, thing. At least. And what pray tell is your profession now? Vagabond living in my house. <laughs> he don't have one, lady. He don't have one. <laughs> Crow! If you'll allow me. Or he's being a fucking edgelord if he's um not li or he's not being a fucking edgelord if he's not lying. Yeah, I'm like Squidman with inner demons ready to eat you alive, or at least like attachment still to a, a great worm. I'm just the the last name not being worm blood, like, sir. It makes me wonder if that's like something he picked up, and now it's like maybe him going back to his like birth name. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look My up. Look that up. Is a mercenary hired for his strength at arms. 
Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. <laughs> oh, bless you, Cryo. His one brain cell was starting to smoke. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Ah, ma'am. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. I have every confidence in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. As my <laughs> vagabond answer. <laughs> Good title, Mercy. Good title. The Stinian singular bread cell going into overdrive as he attempts not to admit that he's currently unemployed. Yes, you say this because he can't stand you. <laughs> oh, God, I love him. I love him so much. He's so, so stupid. He do the jumpy and then he stab. Cryo, it is good to see you. Likewise, long voyage not oh, I'm so, the worse for so very glad that I didn't listen to the music beforehand. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Ah, I've got cold chills again. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Aww. Even the Stinian smiles. I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. <laughs> well, I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. <laughs> oh my god, I love, I love this. I fucking love this so much oh no oh no oh um this is there's cryo oh thank god all of the minions oh my gosh um I'm glad I spotted you, your ship coming into port. The officers are born bureaucrats and sticklers for detail in any case you may relax and take a moment to gather your leg lands back Oh, new quest complete music. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to start losing my uh Can I glamour plate here? Um, let's see. Where's the one? Hmm. Do I not have my current... Oh, there we go. I do like that there's, like, no names here, and then you can... And then they all show up. Okay. I'm unaccustomed to fabricating lies on demand. Why should it matter how I earn my living? <laughs> now I... Oh, wait. Oh, you move a little bit and more people pop in. Oh, okay. That explains it so many people surrounding Raha. Here we are at last, the great city of Charlian. You may have noticed some similarities with Crystarium. Yes, in fact, I... Oh, but we should really let Kryle have her say first. We can continue this conversation another time. That was about as awkward as expected. Still, we're here now, and that's all that matters. You want a piece of the Catboy? Understandable. I'm fine, honestly. Better to be waved through with a stern warning than to be denied entry, after all. Even allowing that the years that I spent on the first passed here in the blink of an eye, the city feels untouched by time. You are doubtless eager to take in the sights. Not to worry, Morgan. The city is not unlike, is not like to vanish before we reach our dis uh, we finish our discussion. Allow me to extend 
unto thee my warmest welcome, Morrigan. May the wisdom of my homeland aid us in our endeavors. Arion J, you are a gem. You're a gem and I love you. I thought to launch directly into an explanation of what I've learned and how we might proceed. But this is Morgan and Stenian's first time in Charlian. This has such a Toby Fox feel to it. I've... I'm in love. Oh my god. Oh, the music is so good already. This is cozy music. This is such cozy music. Ah. Oh. oh, okay. Um First time in Charlene and for the rest of you a homecoming that was long overdue. You must have places you wish to visit and people you're dying to see. Therefore, I propose that we postpone our agenda so that you all may have the sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings in the city. I, I'm in love. I'm in love so far. Once you've settled in, we can reconvene at the Baldessian Annex. How does that sound? Tis a fine suggestion. We may not be welcome at the Leviera Estate as such, but I, suggest, but I should like to nose around the neighborhood all the same. You think you skipped too many cutscenes? Oh no. I am equally untethered, as it were. Is there no particular place that my kin... Uh, there's no particular place that my kin call home. Wait, are we gonna meet, like, Tola's family? Still, I would not pass up the opportunity to reacquaint myself with the city. Well, I mean, her sister's in, um, Eorzea. But... Gonna meet for a bit while you settle down and wait for the cuta to pop? Of course! I am, I am very, very glad that we have, I hope that it has been, you know, a very warm welcome and I hope that you're feeling more comfy with being out among us because I am glad that we have you here, Phelan. Um, likewise, a quick tour of our old haunts may yet, may even yield some useful gossip. The annex was west of the Aetherite Plaza, was it? I shall join you there anon. Yes, we'll see you there. <laughs> What's on your mind, Dorian J? I too have places I would be remiss in not visiting forthwith by thy leave. I am surprised that he didn't do his like dramatic bow. Is Raha gonna hold our hand here? What of you, Astinian? My Astinian, my services as guide are yours for the asking. That won't be necessary until we reconvene. I prefer to wander as the wind takes me. Bye! But I could- oh. He'll find us, don't worry. Well, Raha- I love that other people call him Raha! Anyways, um, well, Raha, would you like to join us then? You've been gone for quite a while, and this would be the perfect way to refresh those dusty old memories of yours. Oh, of course, if you'll have me. All the time, every way, baby boy. Come, Morgan. Charlene awaits. I quite like the new sword. Ah, oh, I love the music! I love the music! Okay, I'm gonna take two seconds and pull my hair up because I did not realize, um... My hair has gotten quite a bit longer. This is the first time I've had it, like, down and clean in a while. You did skip too many. Oh no, Moon! After you, my friend, I am more than content to follow your lead. Grahati is now a company. <gasps> Hello? Hello? What is this? Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Grahatia behind by entering a different area, using the Aethernet, or by putting too much distance between you. You can also speak with Grahatia and select 
the option to part ways. I, excuse you, no. Who would ever, who would ever want to part ways with Graha? If you wish to have Graha Tia accompany you again, return and speak with him at the original location. You didn't do anything after getting to this part. Uh, while Graha Tia is accompanying you, try speaking with Kryl. Next, try speaking with Kryl. I want to just talk to him. Do not for miss forget Mr. Skryl, our worthy guide. All set, then let us be on our way. Our first stop, amusingly enough, will be the last stand. It is the cafe on the west side of the harbor. <gasps> Kryl is now accompanying you. Lead the two companions to the last stand and speak with Kryl at the, des at the destin design location. You're at this part? Okay. While you're accompanied, um, you may encounter conversation- Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, all that I've ever wanted! They're giving me all that I've ever wanted! Okay. <laughs> you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploiting your surroundings together. Oh, oh, fuck you, Moon. This is not- This is the best thing that could have happened. Oh my god, I get to, I just get to spend time talking to them! Do you know how happy this makes me? This is all I've ever wanted! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's- I- I, mm, me remembering that I don't have, uh, RP walk bound anymore, um, keybind. Uh, toggle between run and walk. Yep, nope, not num slash. I need to add it. Um, oh, what is that tied to? What is slash tied to? Your Gaha glitched on the stairs. He's like 10 feet above you. Oh no. Um, what is slash? Already text command. O. Oh, um, is period tied to anything? I don't think. Well, no, I can see why it wouldn't be. Mm. Actually, what function? Is F11 anything? Targeted, target nearest enemy. Oh, well, I don't have to worry about that, so that's fine. Uh. First meeting. All right, Doge, catch you later. I love how many people are also doing the RP walk for this. You wanna leave them behind. But I'm also going to attune to things as we go. Oh my gosh. Are there more down that way? It doesn't look like it. Discuss the giant statue in the harbor. The path leading towards the sea is known as Athaliac Stoa, so named for the statue of the scholar which stands at its end. Thank you for the follow! As you know, the Charlian people prize the accumulation of wisdom above all else. Thus, when Thaliac was chosen as our patron deity, it was more of a matter of pragmatism than belief, an, aligned, an alignment of principles, as it were. We may have honored him with a rather impressive sculpture, yes, but our faith is not so restrictive as, uh, as that of, say, the Ishgardians. Individual Charlians can and do worship the divinities of their choosing. Now that is a sight one can hardly forget, the great statue of Thaliac. As a student of Baldessian, I would usually I was usually quartered on the island of Val, but I would gaze upon the scholar's wise features every time I returned by ship to the city. Oh god, this place is so pretty. 
Nothing beats a fresh brew from the last stand. Oh, wait, are there any other places where we can go talk, or is this... Aw, okay, hold on, I want to talk to Graha first. Ah, yes, the last stand. Now this is an inviting aroma. And here we are, the last stand. You have not seen a single male Vieira. I mean, it probably takes a little bit of time to like, there's a ton of places. I don't see anywhere else immediately. <sighs> I may have mentioned this before, but although our research into nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive, the average Charlie intends to regard seasoning and flavor with a certain indifference. Now, well, hopefully they're gonna be following me for a while longer since you need to be close. Uh, okay. How can I put this? The food is bland and is encapsulated by our infamous Archon Loaf. The prevailing sentiment towards culinary uh, cuisine is a dietary value first and a taste distant second. Uh, there is one pupil at the studium, however, who could stomach the scoots and schools and sipid meals no longer, so he quit his lessons and poured all his savings into building a proper eatery. And so the last stand came to be. As the name implies, the sole dedication, sole dedicated outpost of fine dining in Charlian, the one and only bastion of the culinary arts in an island otherwise of, of otherwise me mediocre fare. Um, this quest seems to be sending you all around, uh, but you did some of the Aether Nuts before moving to this spot. Okay. I also seem to be being. Uh, I seem to recall their burger being held as one of the more impressive items on the menu. Not that I've ever had the pleasure of eating one myself. Because you were a typical Charlian when it came to cheap and convenient, Raha, but surely Tataru has since taught you how to appreciate a well-prepared dish. We should all stop when time uh, stop in when time permits and sample the cafe's delights. Shall we press on the stairs to the side of the cafe? There will take us up to the Aetherite Plaza. Okay. I wanna I wanna see if we can find any other places before we move on then. Um, although I'm worried that I have ruined my chance at that. But I mean, that's just more for me to go back and play on my own time, I guess. Because I'm not seeing any places like out over here, which I kind of expected. Haven't? Okay, cool. So I'm guessing they just disappear um, when you do the ones that you can. Oh, I cannot believe that we've already been in for an hour. Go near the retainer bell? Okay. Which... Alright. Speaking, I mean, I might as well go do my retainers since we're in here anyways. Also, I guess that we've had, um... The, the Mog Station update, um, you said that it looked different. Are, are there more things in it already, or, um... Oh, look at that Aetherite. Levy me, Gilcha, Gilchip Hunt Vendor, okay. Mm, I'm not seeing any others over here. I really think that I wrecked the, uh, the first bit of getting more story out. It's all the new skips? Oh, okay. Your Wi-Fi dropped for a second. Oh no, did you get kicked out? The site added for Reaper uh, for the black from the Black Blossom set? Nice. Oh, there she go. Alright, um. You don't know what instance I am? Uh, I might have to move closer. Yeah, there's no telling, honestly. 
Also, are, are the belts that you had here just like in the ether now? I'm guessing they are. The only thing that I'm like sad about is, uh... Wait, they just gave me the augmented quit lurker? <laughs> Wait. Really? Really? They just gave that to me? It's... Let's see, that's 105. It's actually better than what I've got. Fuck. No, nope, I guess hang on to that right now. You go to the Calamity Guy to get them back? Okay, yeah. I'll go do that, because I want to at least yoink my, uh... Materia out of the one belt. I just forgot to, like, put them into my inventory like a boo-boo the fool. Yeah, I'm not seeing another talk over here, a uh, talking point over here. Towards the group of people. I mean, if you're talking about this one, I did the one that was like back over there. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I did the one that was, like, right over here. That was, you know, across from that. But if there were more in this area, I didn't see them. Okay. Yep, I see one there. Oh, but the, I just... Ah, Charlene is so fucking pretty! Hi. Oh, sorry. Okay, this is mission one. Um, I'm not seeing the others, so we'll... Number one, attune. Oh, I see people down that way. I could probably zoom in, zoom in a little bit for this bit. Nope, just looks like people attuning to the Aetherite. If not, like, the next quest bit being over here. <laughs> there seems to be at least a pretty decent draw distance, so I'm just, like... I don't want to miss anything, but... 2k and Q, yep. Ah, this is the Baldessian Annex, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodbye, Graha. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can just see any more around here before... There's like three spots? They're all visited by MSQ? Oh, okay. I just assumed that there would be like a little bit more, um... 
areas for it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Cannot believe you, Gar. But what can I say? I mean, I got a fucking Noi Dakimura, a bad dragon, and now a vibrator from chat, so, uh... <sighs> when you see a group walk towards it? I mean, that's what I have been basically doing, but I just, like... The draw distance on this wasn't too, like, far away, so... It's got an Ethernet, at least I just attuned to it. Yeah, well, I'm not seeing story stuff, so... Oh, so are we actually in different instances? Because I have not seen y'all at all. But yeah, like, I went over there and I attuned. Um... Like, I assume that there's another Aetherite out there, but this is the only one of these spots that I'm seeing. An unusual shape, isn't it? I, I assure you, however, that's the perfectly functioning functioning aetherite. Remember to attune, uh, to attune yourself before we move on. Now, being the diligent tour guide I am, I should make mention of the confluence, the research facility located on this very plaza. Its much vaunted discoveries are the reason Charlian stands at the forefront of teleportation technology. In deciphering the underlying principle of the Algon aetherites, it allowed us to understand and reconstruct what was essentially a lost art. Um, and off we go to our next destination. Our path leads uh, northeast to Agora, Charlene's largest marketplace. Have anything to say, Graha? Oh, the markers. I always did look forward to seeing what new wares they had to, to had on offer. Um. Uh, let's see. Can I? It's slash instance, right? I'm an instance too. Okay. All right. Looks like we're going this way. So I mean, ah, uh, there are a couple talking points over here. Cool. They do disappear as you do the MSQ one. Ah. Uh. Caveman, oh my god. Do you mind if I browse the, shelves, browse the shelves for a moment? There might be some hidden gems I've yet to read. Nerd. Only a moment, how optimistic. Feel free to browse all you like, but we won't wait around for you. Uh, perhaps I'll return here later, then. You're an instance one? Oh, okay. But the missable ones are the spots that you'll see before the MSQ ones? Okay. These open-air bookstalls are so uniquely Charlie, and I always thought them a common sight until I visited other nations. Let's see, did I see another one? Oh, there's a gemstone trader. Okay, so they're not too far out of the way, so that's good to know. Welcome to Agora, where you can find wares made in Charlian, as well as a wide selection of imported goods. They also used to sell questionable prototypes from various research institutes, but I think that practice has hopefully died, has thankfully died out for the most part. Otherwise, I can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Am I overselling it? <clears throat> on a more serious note, the next stop on our tour is one that has particular relevance to our ultimate purpose here. We must head back to the Aetherite Plaza, follow the path north, then climb the stairs to the, up to that imposing building at the very top. Yes. How long do they punch Graha walking in air? It, Graha air walking soon. 
I have a feeling that that's going to be soon. I also love the Estidians, like little minions, still has to run along. <laughs> My heart. You can't talk to him because he's too far away. I mean, then hopefully you'll be able to like walk out and back in and or walk around and make him like come back down. Because he started ascending for me, but then dropped. Oh, I don't doubt that, Elise. I, I literally like you will not see me on my Final Fantasy Twitter for like a week or two, or at least until I'm done with MSQ. Like, I know that people are data mining, and I know that they're going to be putting it in places where people can see. I do think that my timeline is curated to a point to where um, I won't see any spoilers if people are, like, retweeting them. Um, but yeah. This is uh, the Nymphium, Nymphium? Uh, an area dedicated to the blessings of water. For Charlian's water represents more than life-sustaining liquid. It is a reminder of the Great Flood, which precipitated the birth of our nation, as well as a symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thaliac's divine ear. Data mining to spoil it for people? Mm-hmm. You're in nice mercy. Yep. People, people are horrible. People are absolutely horrible, and they will ruin the fun for other people because they have no good in their life, so they have to, like, ruin the little bit of good that we get. Um, but that's why I'm being very careful about things, and, like, if I get spoilers, I'm going to murder. It's one of the reasons why we are tentatively, tentatively sitting on two-hour follower mode here. If we have more issues, um, which I don't think that we're going to, um, but if we have issues... The data miners are doing it to spoil people, yeah. And, you, and people are using, and the people who are, and the people using to do, and the info to do it are, yeah, just. It's not good. It's not good. It's really not good. But like, I've got um, my tweet deck and everything set up to where there is no way that I'm going to see things, um, which makes me very, very happy. Native miners have always kept it spoiler tagged and such, yeah. Yeah, I just barely looked at my uh, Twitter feed and it's at most like people who are posting about um, other things. Yeah, just let people enjoy things. Like, if people want to data mine and have spoilers for themselves, that's fine. But don't ruin it for anybody else. Uh, for, okay. This is the reason you see an abundance of fountains throughout the city and the pro a pro a propensity for utilizing water as a decorative feature in our architecture. These little decorative features are typical Charlian architecture. Aside from the, the from the research wing, our headquarters on the Isle of Val were rather simple and rustic by comparison. Like, and I mean, it's beautiful here. Like, hi, this is going to be a prime G post spot. Like, absolutely. I'm so used to just like scrolling back to zoom all the way back out. And it's like, nope, we're staying zoomed in a little bit here. See, that's another MSQ spot. Yep. Nope. RP walking around really taking your time? Mm-hmm. I don't want to run off without my guides. 
And I also don't want to miss any spots by, like, getting to MSQ too quickly. I am already in love with the music from this expansion. Like, this is, like, as much as I'm going to, like, push myself through like as quickly as possible. I am also not going to rush it. I I just I love this game. I love this game a lot. It's brought me so much joy that like otherwise like this year would have sucked. Sucked so much harder if I didn't like have Endwalker or like if I didn't have Shadowbringers and everything to play through. I just God, I'm glad I got into this game, and I'm glad I didn't let my ex ruin it for me. Ah, what an invigorating breeze. A touch biting, perhaps, but pleasant nonetheless. The grand structure before you is the Ros Rostera? The name refers to the original public platform erected here, upon which a forum of elected representatives would deliver orations and debate policy. Although the stage has since evolved into council chambers, the nature of the forum and the duties of its members remain largely unchanged. Am I boring you, Raha? You seem actually you seem awfully distracted. Also, the fact that Kryle just calls him Raha constantly, like my heart. My apologies. From here one can see the entire city spread out below. The Vista put me in mind of my arrival in the first. Those who had gathered at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. Naturally, my answers were all inspired by my knowledge of the finest settlement I could think of, the great city of Charlian. And bit by bit, those few buildings grew into a town, a community, the Crystarium. I can almost see its echo. I see. Feel free to come here whenever you wish. I don't think that the counselors would, would object to you simply enjoying the view. Such memories should be treasured. For now, however, the tour must go on. Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with this fittingly named Journey's End. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. Which, yeah, no, this view. Uh... Uh... Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm zooming back in a little bit. I'm, I'm okay, I, I promise I'm okay. I just have the biggest smile plastered on my face because I am a simple idiot. Place game in front of me. I immediately get happy. That is real fine. That is real fine. Just... This combined with the music too... I... Ah... Uh... Right, it doesn't look like we've got um, another talking point here, so I'm going to go attune and then we'll come back and do our next bit of MSQ. Really need some sleep. All right. Uh, I mean, when whenever I go to sleep, it'll be great. Me, uh, 20 hours later, I'm not asleep yet. <laughs> God, there's so many good places for Gpos here. Oh, this is the Levier estate? I am not immediately going to go in and beat up their dad. I am not immediately going to go in and beat up their dad. I am not immediately going to go in and beat up their dad, even though I really just want to go pit... I really just want to go punch his stick off. I really just want to go punch his stick off. I'm not going to, but I want to. Also, the fact that Raha was like walking. Oh, oh, he was up in the air again. Oh, I thought he was just walking in front of me. The neighborhood is home to the highest, highest art el echelons of Charlian society. I've not actually seen echelons written out before. Ha. Huh. Okay. Um, I never did feel comfortable enough to wander these streets on a whim. 
We've arrived at Journey's End. History tells us that um, this was where those who put ashore with the Archon Nyunkraf built up their uh, built their first homes. In the present day, it serves as a residential district for the most important officials and the oldest Charlian families. You'll see that one mansion is clearly larger than its neighbors. That estate belongs to our friends from House Levier. All things considered, we should probably keep our distance from the, for the time being. Kryle, I really just want to go beat up their dad. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you, sweetheart, but I really just want to go kick his, just kick his dick off. And with that, we bring our little Charlian tour to a close. I hope it has proven to be an entertaining and enlightening experience. Now, we should head directly to the- we should all- Shall we head directly to the Valdesian Annex? You remember the raid, don't you, Raha? Let me think. We head down towards the harbor, cross the bridge to our right, then follow the path to below the Aetherite Plaza. Correct. After you, Morrigan. Wait, do we get to walk with them still? Ah! Okay. We are slow walking our way over there. I do not care that this is going to take longer. Poor Lise. <laughs> See, this is why you never do Wi-Fi. Never do Wi-Fi. Always have things hardwired. You would? But your ether- how is your ethernet slower than Wi-Fi? That makes no goddamn sense. Wi-Fi is less reliable and slower because you can't run a wire from downstairs. Oh, why? You need to do it through the mains? Ah, uh, okay, that makes more sense. Oh, this is so cute! Ah! I mean, it, it's one of those things, like, I think if you're not running, like, the right speed cable and everything... Through mains you that is ridiculous. That is not how that's supposed to work at all. I love how everybody else is running, and I'm just like taking 20 years to get anywhere. I just and, and that's the one thing that um is very important to me with games. Um, Wadi! I am having a fantastic time. Oh, I'm so excited to have MSQ again. Or at least new MSQ. Um, but yeah, no, like this is one, this is one game that I love spending my time in the world as much as possible. So like, as much as I'm going to be speeding through, I'm going to be taking my time as well. This is at the Baldassian Annex. I just ah. Uh, when you say your Wi-Fi dipped, you mean the entire network? Even your phone lost it for a minute. Oof. Okay. You would commit crimes for internet that good? Yeah. Um, I shouldn't talk about mine then, caveman. <sighs> Some someday, Wani. Someday, Wani. Grab your hands. Come play this game with me. <laughs> Uh, I have... <laughs> I have 750 up, and I've got, um, or I, no, I've got 750 down, and I've got, like, 35 up. <laughs> if I could get, um, if, if I could get, um, fiber here, I would, but I can't. I mean, let me at least take you to dinner first, Elise?
As the joyous look on Raha faces undoubtedly informs you, this is the Baldessian Annex. If you continue up the hill, you'll arrive on the doorstep of the Phenomenon. But I think we've explored enough for one day. We can take you there another time. Oh, Do we get to do this again? I want to do- I want to do this again. Also, hi, Moon. Inside with you, then. Oh. Cutscene time. Is this where our end room's gonna be? You don't think the world is ready for you to hyperfixate on this game? Okay, the world may not be ready, but I'm ready. I'm ready. I I do really think that you would get very into this game. Um and like I I would I d grabby hands. Just grabby hands. I'm back and I brought Morrigan and Raha with me. Uh, you were right about the ship, then. Hello, Raha. It's nice to see you again. Who is this? And it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Morgan. I've heard many tales of your exploits. Okay, um... Okeja? Okeja... Sunikija. I... I'm gonna have to have this name pronounced for me to actually know how to say her last name, but... Or their last name. It has been an age. Allow me to introduce Onikacha, an administrative office officer for the students of Baldessian. He oversees the day-to-day -day business of the Annex. Morrigan and Raha on a ship, what are they gonna do? I mean, Morrigan is not into Raha. Um, that that's Wilhelmina's boy. 2.5, oh, caveman, I am so sorry. The Champion of Eorzea is featured prominently in Kryl and Graha's reports. Uh, so for me, this is akin to seeing a fabled hero come to life. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. And you want to put the Sage Soul Stone in your mouth? Go do it. Go do it, Mercy. Go pick it up. This place is like a second home for the students. The Isle and the Val served as our main headquarters, of course, but we often had occasion to visit Charlian. This is just a, such a cozy area. Whether to make use of the city's research facilities, attend conferences, or procure supplies for, from the distant shores. And the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engage in such activities. Yep, this is our new in-house. Your ISP is working on improving it. Nice! I'm so happy. It looks like toothpaste and gum for... <laughs> That, yeah, is that, isn't that just peppermint gum? Ever since our former headquarters, along with the Isle, Isle itself, vanished, the Annex has served as our, for, as our base of operations. I wonder if we're gonna, like, hear more about that. Cause, like, was the island fully destroyed? Or did it just, like, blip out of existence? And if it blipped out of existence, where did it go? to five and 0 0.3 i mean to be fair anything anything would be better than that <laughs> you don't know that look look that is that is going to be double your current speeds more than double with uh, <laughs> if you're up low <laughs> double the speed or better exactly And yet it feels so empty. With so many of so many lost to us, our organization is a shell of its former self. The day will come when we will see the students rise up again. Or when we will, yeah, when we'll see the students rise again. But first we must ensure that the Tulofori fall. Through the door on the left, there is the main hall, which we can discuss our mo options moving forward. Once everyone arrives, that is, you probably have time to rest before our discussions begin in earnest. The minimum download will be at least 10. Nice! That is a vast improvement over 2.5. Almost five times as much! I've had private quarters prepared for you in the Andron, so please feel free to make yourself at home. Ah, the nap room's perfectly perfect for an afternoon doze. You want to join me, Raha? You want to join me for a nap? That's a government-mandated minimum. 
Oh, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed. Um, far from some cheap roadside inn, you may be assured. It was simply that we all were often so busy with research or exhausted from journeys abroad that we would slip into the Archon just and on to just to steal a few winks. Lower than that, and you're entitled uh, for free improvement to your internet. I like wait. That's actually a thing. Like you're not memeing. You're you're not memeing. And thus they become known at, amongst the students as nap rooms, even if such many such naps may last well into the following morning. Say the word and I'll be happy to show you to your chamber. Can I take him with me? Hopefully the others won't be too long in coming. I'll wait for you all in the main hall. That is fantastic. I'm glad that you actually have like a mandated speed. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I want to see... Ready for a nap? Yes, I want to see the in-rooms first. Clean sheets and warm blankets await. Rest as long as you like. Alpha! <gasps> oh, this is so pretty! We get a chaise lounge! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Oh my god, Ifrit against uh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. And of course, store ah, okay. I am. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, uh, I'm mm, part of me wants to empty out my inventory more, but it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. You're not good. Are you crying again? I should have talked to Raha. Fuck. I mean, I could leave and talk to Raha, but nah. Let's go talk to Kryle. Ah, uh, you're crying already then. Feeling refreshed and alert? Our colleagues should be wandering in soon, so I suggest we stay here and wait for them to join us. Pray forgive me. I was delayed. It's fine, Moriange. We're all here now. Let's get down to business then, shall we? Come what may, we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. More likely than you think. I mean, I'm not crying, though. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian. Not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. Yeah, true. That is a yet. I'm actually surprised I haven't cried yet. I've been too excited. To know, the 99 members of the forum are elected from the general populace. This alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. I should have washed my face before I uh, started streaming. Now I think about it. The bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlie in focus on recording history while remaining entirely uninvolved in the making of it. Okay, so that's the majority. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather, Gallif, was one such member, as was Archon Luisua. Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. Huh. 
Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. Fortuno's refusal in Gridania had those same undertones. What, you miss just me uh, geeking out over the in room? It simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? A mystery indeed, and one which I ask for in your room. help to solve. I in in. Our future may depend on it. The the rooms are very very nice so As far in Charlian. Potential path. It concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. Leave my son alone, Moon. <laughs> that is a okay, Doge. I appreciate it. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. Mysterious relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, and so forth. Compared to our more isolationist Charlian colleagues, we have strong connections overseas, namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. The request in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nadana, an alchemist residing in distant Thavnair. Her missive describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar primal. Oh, are we going into Rossett Hand like this early? I know they were going there soon, but like, I thought it would be a bit. In response to this threat, the satrap of Rads at Han, the individual who governs the city-state, has instructed the alchemists to find a means to deal with the spire. Mm -hmm. The artisans of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition, one rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. It is possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. Eee, it me. Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. Mm -hmm. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Equal, I think, to the Thavnarian one given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of both. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Poor Kryl. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. Ah, uh, so we've got the MSQ split here? You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also like to steal the services of an Archon or two. And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. I will help with that. I have a feeling Tola and Orianje are going to stay. Allow me to offer my assistance. Oh, Raha's going to stay. Small amount of experience in the field of research. This is true. He is a nerd. Alize and I would also like to help if you would have us. Alize not going to Thanvir with us? Okay. Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the forum might be thinking. Okay, well, that makes sense. Of course, the more the merrier. Right. The rest of us will make the journey to Thavna.
thoughts, objection. I passed through Thavnir on my way to infiltrate the Empire, and though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. Abby Hands is standing and holding my hand. Leave me. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriange. Boy band. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't know which side I want to do first. Um, okay, I'm actually going to go to the restroom really quickly, and I will ponder that. I'm kind of leaving, uh, leaning towards Thavnir, honestly. Um, but I'm going to run to the bathroom, and I'll be back, and we will figure out which way we're going.
Chat, very cute. Yep, I got up and I stretched. I will do a proper hydrate right quick. Moon, uh, did you go to Thavnir first or are you staying in Charlian? Are you not to this point? Never mind then. Though, um, Doge, what what server are you on? Are you on light? Don't know which one to go with. Um, I'm going to say that actually tanks are going to have the uh, shortest queues out of everybody since the classes that were added were a... Oh, I had me lower than the game. Fine. Um, uh, I was asking, did you go to Thavnir or did you stay in Charlian? You, uh, well, I mean, like, are you on, uh, light or chaos or is chaos a world? I am low-key considering making a, um... An alt where I can play with my EU, EU folks. Charlie, because that was the TP that came up first. Okay. Understandable. I actually, I'm going to be terrible. I'm going to go with this. I, I, I want to go with the Stinian first. But now we're going to talk to people. So it's back to Thavnir. Had I known earlier, I would have considered more suitable attire. Are we going to get an outfit change for a Stinian? Uh, Omega? Oh, okay. Though I have read much about the subject of Razatan, uh, this visit shall be my first. It will be interesting to see how the Hanish mean to contend with the tower, different as their magical and techno technological disciplines are. I still don't understand how the vote could be unanimous. What could possibly convince them all to turn their backs on Eorzea? The process by which the forum members are elected is fair and equitable. Neither wealth nor social standing offers any advantages to a prospective candidate. But electly fa elected fairly or not, fairly elected or not, Master Matoya still found them all to be insufferable. She finds most people to be insuffer insufferable, Tola. That's just how she is. The forum is intent on concealing its intentions. When a cursory investigation will avail us little, I suspect, we need to dig deeper and with, with the greatest of care. Our tour of the city was a pleasant distraction. I feel uh, more than ready now to tackle the challenges of the day. Aww, Raha, you're so cute. I have Kryal's instructions in hand. If you are ready to set out, then so are we. Having been to Thavnir before, I can travel by Aetherite, but what of the rest of you? Another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Kryal was of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the Confluence. We'll take ourselves there. The Confluence, thou sayest. Oh, oh no, there's already a problem. I'm afraid so, my friend. Yeah, hello? Can I be clued in on this? That would recall the hunt for Iceheart uh, unto the... Unto the... Whose sanctuary we delivered thee, owing the knowledge of our comrade Monberta. Monberta was an authority on Aetherology, a field of study she did embark upon in the pursuit of her parents' example. Both our authorities in their own right, and both our researchers at the confluence. Oh no! Ah! Why? I miss her so much. Omega's for yours and Kimmy's FC is. Okay. Um, I hold on one second. Let me look at uh I, just give me a sec give me a second away from story so I don't fucking cry because I'm about to. Um where's the lodestone? Uh yeah, server status, there we go. Um EU Oh oh no. Yeah, that's chaos. Light is where um uh, light is where JJ and um and Lily are Ah. 
second worst after Louis Swa. <sighs> I, I, I was literally just looking up the, the server status stuff. Um, because you know the people there? Oh, understandable. <sighs> then I might join on light instead of on chaos. Even though chaos is fun. Succumb to the tears. No, I'm not crying yet. Have I teared up? Yes, I have not cried. Haven't you gotten to see them yet? I attempted to do so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. It hath... As it hath many times, I thought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Oh, dude, you sent them a letter? You didn't go see them? Ariane J. <sighs> oh, that's true. Because, yeah, I'm definitely not making one anytime soon. Um, Neither time nor introspection have uh, revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus I have kept my silence. Whether you come with us or not, or no, is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. Aww. Estenian's gone soft. I love this for him. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence and I shall face that with ha which hath long been overdue. I just... I... <sighs> he and Monberta grew up together, so, like, it, her parents know him. I just want them to, like... I, I just want his mom to, like, run up to him and hug him. I want that. I desperately need that. Don't let them be mad. Don't let them be mad at Orion J. Like... He lost not only his best friend, but the woman that he was in love with and just never fucking admitted it. Just... Ah! If it's settled, then let us be off. When we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Kitty? I have... I, I'm assuming that that's how that's pronounced. All right, um... Oh god, what, F11, right. Now I run. No, wait, uh... Oh, she cute. Ah, she's got the she's got the um the Aetherite earring. God, I want I actually want one of those, like IRL. I actually I need to draw the sword after this cuz it it looks interesting. Well, now this is rather a lot of stern faces. Are my library books overdue again? I already adore her. Not to our knowledge, we're associates of Kryle of the students of Baldessian. We seek passage to Thanvir and understand that you can assist us. Ah, oh, the test subjects! Welcome, welcome! Oh no! Test subjects? Oh, you hadn't heard? Well, well, then, well then, allow me to explain. So in order to travel to an Aetherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out um, while you're in a mess of aether hurling along the life stream. An inconvenient but inconvertible limitation of aetherite teleportation. But what if I were to tell you that there's a way to travel to an aetherite without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've labored to make such travel possible that people might move about more freely and we've finally done it we've created a new kind of aetherite that doesn't require attunement 
I mean, that would also be funny. Truly, that changes everything. Well, my language may have been a bit misleading. The user uh, need not attune to these aetherites, but the aetherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other, hereby facilitating travel between two between the two points. But it just so happens that our that of our first pair of aetherites, one has been installed here in Charlene, and the other one um, in Gilamed, a port town in Thanvir. As you may know, our nation has long maintained such strong ties with Ra's at hand. Indeed, we owe much to this breakthrough, um, to the contributions of their alchemist. So to sum up, we're to test these Aetherites. How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel Aether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say that these Aetherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued within will whisk you away without any effort on your part. A veritable dream come true. And far uh, far be it from me to worry about such things, but do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission required is yours, so assuming you're willing, we're all set. It may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift healthlessly in the life stream, in the statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. But it's plain then that you aren't most people. <laughs> Mistress Kryle truly knows how to pick them. God, she's cute. Uh, if I may change the subject, our Master Wolfson and Master... Uh, Bloinda not present today? Bloida? Uh, oh, didn't you hear? They recently resigned their post. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. A large-scale project helmed by the forum itself, as I understand, but I'm not privy to the details. Okay. I see. Any other questions? No, then let's... Uh, get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and head outside to the Aetherite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Yeah, that's interesting knowledge to have now. Oh, what? Oh, we can't go downstairs. Oh, that's so neat, though. I love this. Fake door, fake door. I'm glad that we're seeing more Rothgar and Viera NPCs. The words left, uh, the words unsaid weigh heavy on my heart. I shall devote mine all to our task at Thanvir. Given my experience with teleportation, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have reservations, but I will trust in Kryle. I shall teleport the tried and uh, the tried and trusted way. Good luck. Thanks for your vote of confidence, boy. Ah, oh, the black mage with the ah. Uh, your femro looks like a JoJo character. Ah! I haven't seen your femro yet. If we end up in the same area like sometime soon, you need to come see me. Three, actually. Three. I'm already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. God, I love hearing his voice. You are? Oh. The quest check? More test subjects. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. I don't like the way that she's running away from the Aetherite. Yes, when I you're on O. Oh. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether.
Girls are the big boys, right? They tend to be. And girls, mm hmm. Oh, and um, one last thing. Oh no. You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck. Oh my god, you already hit the button. What? But none of the cat ones? Mm hmm. Yeah, the big cat boys, those are Rothgar. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck! Speaking of violent ethereal sickness. Kind of disappointed that make the, didn't make the girls more muscly. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit of my problem across the board with this game. It's just like, please make everyone, like, more muscly. Or, like, give us muscle sliders. Thavnir, home to city-state Rads Athar. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious Femrose, do you have muscle sliders? Yeah, but it doesn't go up high enough. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. For a time. Not snake muscles uh, very noticeable. Mm -hmm. Yep, there are, there are some ways to do that. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? Yep, there we all go. What chance? No, nope, there he goes too. <laughs> Orion J just got taken the fuck out. <laughs> Don't you shake your head at us. Fight me! Fucking fight me! I, oh, that was so cute, though. I I love this expansion so much already! I mean, to be fair, I was gonna love it anyways. Oh, Thancred's just dead. <laughs> we all look hungover. <laughs> the three different types of hangover. I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> no, I missed it! Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. Please, I need... Please give me... Ah, it's not as good, damn it. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. That looks like me in the midst of one of my migraines. Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We're the warrior of light and darkness. We can do this. Very loudly runs after the husband. Uh, you managed to will yourself to your feet, but given your condition, will you be able to reach Asinian in time? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Okay. First, let me attune. Oh, come on. Asinian. You there, I need three drinks. Something that helps with aether th sickness. B uh, b by the men 
Mensueta traveler, I or I mean greetings, greetings and welcome. You are wise, good sir, to come to me. My special Emera Lassi made with only the finest, freshest ingredients is farmed for calming, unruly valleys. Ah, <gasps> our new beast tribes. By way of uh, a warm welcome to Thanvir, I'm pleased to offer you it to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gil for not one, not two, but three bottles. A bargain amongst bargains. Hmm. Astinian, no. The price is high road, uh, high road robbery and you want to say as much to Asinian, but you realize any words of warning cry that would be accompanied by your last meal. Just grab the man. You must stand before Asinian and using gestures deny that the deal is fair. Boyfriend mine. Dar darling significant other. Hmm? I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie? The merchant is swindling me? Wah! Since the sinner's apologies, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually 1,890 gil for three bottles of lassie. Hmm. That confusion would be would have been quite costly for the both of us. Very well then, your coin. Here's a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. I'll be back after I've explored the town. I'm taking your coin purse! Praise be to the twelve, my stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heart felt thanks to the Inocinian and to the fine fruits of this land. You were in time excellent, you spared us Sitaru's wrath. Sweet, sweet release. If you hadn't already, you should have yours too. And you. And you, caveman. Right then, I'm ready to get on with it. That lassie truly worked wonders. Back in your feet, I see. Thy hair. I have bound it. Tis the most I could do against this heat short of shedding my armor. May I ask where you got the cord for it? Local vendor, man said it's the Varian weave, tough and not easily unraveled. And how much did it cost? <laughs> 9400 gil, a steal I was told. It's nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over form. Oh no. That's incredible. I dare say not even Alphano could hold a candle to you. Ha. <laughs> uh... It's not uncommon for merchants to set their prices high, but doesn't it seem excessive here? Are all Hannah's merchants so unscrupulous? I expected the Azure Dragoon to put a warm of mine! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the man can barely read, the man cannot count, and does not know the value of money. I love him. Alright, uh, I expected the Azure Dragoon to put up more of a fight. We're going with that one. Gotta be sassy. On the subject, I'll f I shall refrain from making a comment, yet I cannot help but observe that the merchants seem overzealous in their pursuit of profit. Claiming Thanvir as dominion, the nation of Razat Hen hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. 
in the beginning, there were the Arkasodara, the <laughs> Matanga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, they can be joined by other races and their intermingling of culture rich, a culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the, produ the products that the Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over, a development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint betwixt east and west. All this hath combined to make a trading power of rods at hand, yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through judicious government and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence, given the merchants at a gateway town are are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so, the opportunistic pricing is rampant that suggests the oversight has, is much weakened, or may have that the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical, I We've not to lose by learning more. So, ere we seek out Kryle's acquaintance, shall we see... Uh, so we sh shall we see what information we can gather here at Yedelmed? Edelmod? I have no idea how to say that. At least not yet. Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. Determination and vitality. All right. Oh, I should have saved that for another class then. Whoops. Oh, that looks lovely, though. So I'll just have to remember to uh, make sure that I've got that for... Let's see. Yeah, that's 515. So my stuff at 520 will um, be better for a little bit. So I will hold off on using them. I'll, I'll hold them for another uh, for one of my other classes. Right, let, let us split up and make inquiries in town. Morrigan, the pier is yours. Once we have learned what we can, we can regroup by the Aetherite, off-putting though the mere side of it may be. Ah! I love your role, lady! I mean, I am max height Viera, um, so yeah. This is as tall as we get. I also really, really like the eye patch. Alright, where am I going now? This way. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, Ellisons are tall. Like, Vera are tall, but they are definitely not the tallest of the fem races. The only one that you could buy for a uh, white mage? The crate is laden with fruits, but they are on the verge of spoiling, as if they have been, in, been left too long. Oh, that is actually a really big squash of XP. I didn't realize that we were down to 5 million again. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels further away. Compared to the other ports you have visited in the past, there, seem there appears to be very little activity. Saving up for the Tsukiyomi staff. Did you manage to do that or did you spend your money again? Four digits to your name. 
What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. Business has never been this terrible, but I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat, like Kazal Kazalhas? Kazal. Kazal? I don't envy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation, I've come to realize. You're a traveler by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kazal a visit. He'll be glad for tidings from abroad. Like not, uh, like us not, you'll find him at Salt Winds Sales, the harbor guild building across the water from here. Let's see, is there one more place that we need to go here? Nope, doesn't look like it. You got your rose, who's the shortest on the slider, and, and still the tallest boy. Yeah. Well, now, if it isn't a traveler, you're a rare sight on these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide berth since that accursed tower suddenly appeared on, um, Naranar? If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no, it had to spawn uh, fell fiends as well. We still have our lives thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is as good as dead. What will become of us, the, only the gods know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't doubt that that would be, like, very rough. Oh no, I think he's phase four. Yeah, poor man. Also a small tail. This is just an unfortunate aura. The Damascans aren't coming, but we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed and that's that. Look, you may have... You must have known that this might happen. The Empire is at war with itself and the Providences are in chaos. And there's the tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting out monstrosities. The city has its, has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. God, but this will be an enormous loss. All right, all right, forget about the Damascus. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicine, all the perennial Hunnish favorites. Our consortium works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. <sighs> I know all these things, because all I do. Which is why I regret to see, say I, I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. And you are... Wait, you're a foreigner, are you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. I see. That's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. M my name is Matsaya. I'm here to see Kazal. Oh, it seems his, he's busy. I'll come back later, then. Extate. Ah, that's why everyone's standing over here. Yes, can I help you? I remember seeing you back at the guild. You wanted to speak with Kasal too, did you? I am Metsaya, a fisherman of Akyal, a village nearby, a nearby village. I sell my catch to Kasal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I decided that when I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. 
Just as soon as he's free, anyway, he's hard he's a hard working man and I dare not disturb him. Let's see. Oh, I could start opening this on Dragoon. Hmm. I might. Um, if I may ask, what is it that you do? An adventurer, you say, and you travel the world helping people? Then that must mean that you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? You see, I brought some fresh fish with me. The portion I couldn't preserve, and I want to sell them. The problem is I'm terrible with people. I've only ever dealt with Kazal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. Oh. So please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? I'll try. If you're willing, please let me know and we can begin at once. The events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. You'll do it then? Show me how to deal with customers? I'm in your debt. Right, please peddle my fish to, shall we say, three people here in, um, Yerlmad. I will observe you and learn. Matsaya is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave Matsaya behind, yep. Same, uh, same dealings as before, so... All right, back on F11. Come on, buddy. Someone is discovering if there's any place to dive, I guess. Oh, cute Ara boy. Hmm? Yes. Fish, fish, I got fish. And, and yeah, no. That wouldn't. Greetings, friend. How fair you of late. Greetings to you, too. I suppose I'm well enough given the circumstance. Things have settled down somewhat, but it was utter chaos when that tower first appeared. Everyone was grabbing whatever they could, trampling over each other in order to get to, into the city. Many remain here for now, but I could not stay away. Had to come back. Continue with my life, such as it is. Whether or not that was the right choice, only time will tell. Uh, it's too risky out here. Maybe you ought to move to the city, too. There's no place like home, but, you don't, do, but don't do anything dangerous, eh? Oh, trust me, I don't. I make sure to keep well clear of the tower, and uh, when more monstrous monsters emerge from it, I heed the Radiant Host's instructions. I hope they deal with it sooner, with it soon, so we can get back to our normal lives. To the days when you could earn as much as you gave and tuck into a meal, satisfied that you did good work. Speaking of meals, why not have some fresh fish today? Those days will come again, you know it. Till then, stay safe. Speaking of meals, why not have some fresh fish? Fresh fish today. Hmm, fresh fish, you say? Oh, you're a fishmonger. Heh. <laughs> when you bait me like that, how can I not bite? Very well, give me some of your fish. Thank you for your custom. The catch of the day is swallow's cod, delectable stewed in coconut milk, or baked with a sprinkle of salt. Na, 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 na. You succeeded in making a sale! <sighs> oh. 
Well, the following um, mechanic is a tiny bit funky. The city's really pretty, though. Eventually, I will get that fucking Crystarium car. <sighs> There's so many mounts that I want to get in this game, but I haven't, uh... ...worked through grinding them out. Are you? Do you sell fruit by chance? If so, I want to buy some Umra. Let's say a dozen. They don't need to be export quality. What do you need so many Umra for? Why, for eating, of course. It may seem like a lot, but of late I go through that much in no time at all. I'm a stock uh, stock taker by trade, but with no vessels coming in these days, the wares are just uh, the wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing is coming from overseas, but not a day goes by that someone doesn't come asking when the next shipment is arriving for this and that and this and that. It all wears me down and I find myself feeling constantly hungry. Are you sure that you're actually hungry? I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Thank you. A pity you don't sell fruit, but I enjoyed our little chat. It took my mind off my troubles for a moment. Oh no. Ah! Can I try that again? Never mind, if nothing else, you... You left her with a positive impression. Let's move on to the north side of town, shall we? Ah! <sighs> I thought that, like, saying, you know, are you sure you're hungry would, like... Be the wrong option, you know? Because we're trying to shell... Shell fish. Sell fish. I will drink Wawa. I actually might have to take some headache medicine. I've got a little bit of a headache trying to crawl in, like, crawl in and I know that it's sinus. God, have I already been streaming for three hours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the poor little carbuncle running into the <laughs> running into the box. Oh baby, no. Hey, there's Ariange. It is a storehouse like any other at first glance, yet in contrast to its scale, there is a distinct lack of activity. Arably? No, oh, he's baby face. What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh god, it's my stomach. Ugh. Either sickness, no, no, nothing so unusual. I'm in in my hurry to get back to work. I just ate a little too quickly. You should take it easier. Eat more slowly and savor your food. I would that I could, but I can't afford to be idle. Like us not, circumstances will surely get worse before they get better. So I'm working as hard as I can while I still can. Better to be prepared. 
What an industrious young man you are. How do you intend to prepare? By stockpiling supplies. For that, I need to earn coins so I can buy food, medicine, and what have you. How about some fish for your supplies? They're fresh caught. Aye, well, fish wouldn't be bad, and I don't want to go through the hassle of preserving them myself. I'd rather buy the stuff that's ready to store. So I'm afraid I'll have to pass on your fish. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back. Ugh. Serious? Too bad we couldn't make a sale, but we did manage to build something of a relationship. God damn it, game. Thank you so much for your demonstration. It was truly an eye-opening experience. Come, let's return to the pier. I'm very angry. Game. I am not a saleswoman, even though I have an Etsy. I can't market well. I mean... People can't DM me unless they're in a Discord that, like... Yeah, no. Share Final Fantasy XIV servers? Well, I mean, at least, like, the thing that you can do is just, like... If any randoms come up, you just don't look at the messages and delete the DMs. <sighs> yeah. It's exhausting. People really like trying to ruin things for people for no fucking reason. Like, literally get a life. Like, literally, if you're ruining things for other people, get a fucking life. Elise just has bad luck. Oh no. Your queue is 35 people. Wait, queue for what? Thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. You managed to sell one of the three people you approached. It was difficult, but when you put your mind to it, you succeeded. Though you did fail, too. But there are lessons to be learned in both success and failure. By applying yours, I'll endeavor to become a better peddler. People um, would be in now, you guess? Still, there's only so much I can do alone. I sure I hope that things will return to normal for a cause all soon. I thought I heard a familiar voice. And who should it be but Matsaya? Kasal, have you finished your business at the guild? So you were there too. Forgive me, try as I might, I can't find any buyers. How don't they have... How how do they have time to spoil? You're too busy running your own life to get along. Yeah, like that's the thing that always gets me too. Is it's just like, how do how do people like actually have the time and effort to do shit like that? Like I don't understand. I really don't. Yeah, I'd have to, uh, yeah, it's not worth it to try to close my DMs. With no ships coming in and hardly any going out, there simply aren't any options at this rate. So, you can't buy my fish anymore? I'm sorry, Miss I truly am, but for now you must peddle your own goods. But, by myself, I can't... I want to help you, I do, but as it stands, I can barely help myself. I poured my all into the consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. I have friends and families depending on me, and I can't- I won't fail them. 
The sisters as my witness. Cause all... Not to worry, using what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Well, I had best return to my village. My thanks again, and please take care on the road. God, I want that mount. Mayhap, owing the island's small size, the tower's impact upon the people's life doth appear to be more pronounced here than in Eorzea. There you are, gotten over the Aether Sickness, have you? I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a did bit or two, or two, I trust. I see. We also heard that the tower is affecting uh, many locals' livelihoods, but to think that it would all be uh, that it would be to such an extent. For another notable, if not wholly unexpected, discovery: disappearances and kidnappings are disturbing, or disturbingly commonplace. As before, the culprits are almost certainly tempered imperial soldiers. And as before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth the lunar primal, business as usual for the Tulofroi. Support duty finder says more than 30 minutes. I don't doubt that. <laughs> that Matsaya fellow you were helping, he's... Arkasadara, is he not? Apparently, it is almost exclusively his people that are being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? If summoning is the perpetrator's aim, it doth stand to reason that the Arkasadara would be the primary targets. Tis the faith of their ancestors which prevaileth in this land, and many are devout adherents still. We better go after him. Um, Akali... Ak Akaya? Akaya lies to the west, and if I recall, the same direction as Kryal's acquaintance, incidentally. My footage is. This is uncomfy. Good morning, Ink! Warning! We are in Endwalker! If you do not want to be spoiled, away with you! <laughs> you just want to do MSQ, understandable. Very loudly, Endwalker spoilers are here! It's settled then. Keep your eyes peeled while we make way for the village. The somber music here is just like very fitting too. Oh, am I going the wrong way? No. Unless I'm supposed to be inside of the building. No, nope, I see the sparkles. But I am having an absolutely great Final Fantasy XIV day. I just... I am already absolutely enamored and enthralled with this game. Yet again. As always. Just got through the opening vid, work destroyed you for the last few weeks, so you failed in being Shadowbringers in time, but you're already spoiled on that. Oh no. You're not seeing Matsaya nearby, but the elevated ground up ahead may provide a better vantage point. I need to take the Lunar Whale off of my minion guide. Hold on. Or my mount guide. As lovely as it is. All right, bye, Rosie. Level 90. We're already just terrifying. Terrifying.
You do not see Matsaya any uh Matsaya from here either. No, leave me alone. Somebody help. Matsaya's voice, it came from the north. Only 119, only took five minutes, not bad. Hey! Actually, uh, Ink, are you also- you're on- you're on Diabolos, right? If Qs have loosened up, like, have lightened up that much, I'm very impressed. Uh-huh, where did they go? Why are you here? I, uh, have a feeling that we're going to be babysitting an elephant and I am here for it. I see you found them in time. Y you and your friends came to look for me? I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. Balmong at the moment, but you may be looking to move for to a new, a more active FC. Well, if you want to come to Diabolos... We're fairly active. And then those men came. Kidnappers. We've heard that the, um... Ar Arkasadara were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps it's best if you took refuge in the city. I have considered it, me and the others, but fishing is all we know. The ocean is all we have. I see. That's your decision to make, but you should take care not to travel alone. A question, if I may. Tis our understanding that the strange fiends have emerged from the tower. What canst thou tell us of, of these beings? Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard some bear unsettling resemblance to our divinities. For that reason, some have taken to calling the tower Zot. House of Divinities, in our old tongue it means. But they're not true divinities. They're, mon they're monstrous imitations that bring only death. Very, very tempting. Yeah. To have one's faith so twisted is a grievous indignity, and full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that uh, tis for no other purpose but to neutralize the tower that we have come- that we have journeyed to this land. I need to stretch my leggies. Ah, my knee is giving me trouble again. And that time we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all that we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divinities and their true nature? Y you've come th all this way to save us? Really? To think I had you peddling fish? Um, but to answer your question, yes, of course, we would gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I am a terrible storyteller, I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. So please, come to our village. We're good, gods-fearing folk, all of us, and we'd be honored to share our knowledge and fish. What sayest thou? Shall we pay a, vil a visit to... Akali? Akali? I'm... I'm so bad at pronunciation. Wonderful. Just follow the road west down the hill. You can't miss it. Oh, excuse me. 
So it is the simulacra of Severian gods that are being summoned. If any doubt existed before, there can be none now. The kidnapped Hanish are imprisoned in the tower. Woo capitalism. Why, why are we wooing capitalism this time? I pray that we will be able to save them. Though indeed, saving them will mean confronting their false gods, like as not. I, as you said, will do well in studying their religious traditions. To Akali. I'm saying that wrong. Hold on. For right now, for right now, I'm going to turn off um, the mount music. Oh, I also forgot to uncap my FES. Um... Wet stones for single digits across crystals, so now you're flipping them. If I love you, it's not be four digit. So, yeah. I do need to get a new, um... Wait, stepchild? No, we're ignoring that for right now. Half an hour before you need to get ready for work. Understandable. Oh no, the little squeak where you drop! I haven't heard that before! Uh, oh god, where was, um... <sighs> Think it's Ulda? Sage is already feeling like it's gonna be lots of fun. Where did you pick up Sage? Um... This wasn't Limsa, right? Okay, so I'm right. I think it's you. I think um, Reapers and Ulda. Then, uh, welcome to Akiali, my friend. The name means White Beach, and there isn't much here save that. But please make yourselves at home. Your companions have already begun take talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around and do the same. Any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you'll do worse than to start with. Kanga and old Has Festilia? Has Hasvild Hasvildia. They're free at the moment as it happens. Hmm, you wish to know about our gods? What a curious visitor you are. Most only uh, most want fish. In any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know how it is where you hail, but our isle is home to many gods. They can be divided into two groups. The Manusia, beings of wisdom who assume the form of men, and Muraga, um, beings of might who assume the form of beasts. Together, they are divinities. Their forms and personalities, many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, others stern and temperamental, just like we mortals can be. All are possessed of great insight and experience and are heeded, and by heeding their teachings, we strive to be better people and live better lives. Cute Aura Man? Nope. Mustache Aura Man. Interested in learning about our gods, you say? Heh. That's what I like to hear. Pick your prick your ears up then and listen. Prick up your ears then and listen. I I don't think I can. I don't think I can. They're quite they're quite tall to begin with. In ancient times, the Mensuya, the Mur Murga 
and the Murga, deities who look like men and beasts respectively, were locked in conflict. Sorry. Hand currently is covered in salt because I am salting some eggs so I can eat them in a minute because I'm hungry again. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Mansuya, Mur the Murga cast aside their own heads and took up those of their foes. Likewise, Mansuya coveted the might of Murga, so they too resolved to trade heads. Thus were born new gods possessed of both might and wisdom. They ushered in an age of harmony between the two factions. Just regular chicken eggs? They're, bo they're, they're just boiled eggs. They're just boiled eggs. From then on, as a sign of their esteem for one another, the Mansuya have worn animal faces and the Muraga the limbs of men. You guess chicken? Yeah, just chicken eggs. Uh, charming little village, shame about the hideous tower. Familiar though I am with the myths and legends of this island, to hear them spoken by their by heirs to this storied heritage give the giveth them new life. <laughs> Look, I can't be sure with you fucks. Oh, there's a Stinian. Mark you that platform out on the water. Some at our shrine, perhaps? I hadn't even fucking noticed it, huh? Nope, that looks like fishing spots. Unless you're talking about way off in the distance. If it was Kai asking, fair enough. <laughs> Look, I just can't be sure with you anymore! There you are. Learned a thing or two about our gods, I trust. <clears throat> oh, there goes my voice. While you were off talking to the others, I remembered something that may be of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch it from my home at once. I also should have dried these before I put salt on them. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll which depicts three of our most revered deities. By all means, we should like to see it. And I yet again don't have enough salt on my eggs. Ooh. They are Mensuya. You heard of them already. Yes, three sisters. Oh. Boiled eggs with toast is good as fuck. Yes. I mean, I like eggs in general. Um, of all the breakfast foods, they're the one that I- it's the one that I can eat the most of that's not, like, carb-heavy. That and, um, either bacon or pork belly. I've actually taken to eating, like, a lot of pork belly lately. Best scramble with salmon- Ah, oh, That sounds so good! I need to, like, start getting smoked salmon and, like, the little packets, and, like, having that is just something that I can, um like put on with things because like okay okay but consider scrambled eggs salmon a little bit of avocado on either a bagel or a toast like mm -hmm, that sounds decadent ah much better the central one is the eldest Cinderuva, goddess of wisdom, for this alchemist hold her, hold her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Cinderuva. As a goddess of wealth, she counts many traitors among her followers. And the one on the left is Mini Jeruva, the youngest sibling. She presides over the crafts and so is beloved by weavers. Though each is worshipped for a different reason, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for a for good fortune. <laughs> In like fashion to the Mensuya, the deities of Eorzea preside over a myriad aspects of life. And what of the Moraga, if I may ask? 
Moraga hold power over nature and ages past. They were revered as the guardian deities of, in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit our temples and ruins, you'll find their images there. Among them is a god possessed of a Gaja's head, and he is venerated as the progenitor of the Arakasadara. And then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. You worship dragons too? It is said that an ancestor of the Starup, that's the ruler of Ra's at hand, forged a covenant with a dragon divinity in ancient times. The divinity has since acted as the guardian deity of the Sarah Sutrap? Sutrap. Legend holds that if ever the Sutrap is in need, his dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon ally. You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I am confident in the information you've given us. It will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. The stream is insta-paused. That is very kind of you to say. Thank you. I will pray for your success. Need a little bit more salt. Right, I believe it's time we sought out Kryle's acquaintance. An alchemist by the name of Nadana. It is in Walker Day! Hello, Twapic! We are well into it already, and I am so very happy. According to Kryle's notes, we're to find her at a place called the Great Work, further north along the coast. I am, I am absolutely, absolutely in love. I'm enamored. Like, we have already obtained Ponytail Stinian. How much better can it get? Okay, hold on one second here. Eh, itchy ear. Also, I need to, uh... Isinian in a heavily armored maid dress. Look, I can put him in a maid dress now. <laughs> it is now on gender locked. To just game, game. Can I, can I please, can I please dress my husband up? Can I please? <sighs> Someday. D did you say that we're going to see um, Nirana? Oh, how I envy you. She's. Brilliant and beautiful and kind and understanding. And did I say that she's beautiful? I can stare at her dainty ears and adorable trunk all day. All the, And those eyes. When you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. Freed from gender? Yes. Which, like, that's one thing that I thought was really fucking funny. In the patch notes, there's, like, a bunch of clothing that's been ungender locked. And it's like, this, on the eve of getting bunny boys, is such a power move. <laughs> How many bunny boys are- we're gonna have so many bunny boy cafes with buns in dresses, in maid dresses, and it's like, yes. Yes. Freed from gender. We love to see it. One of the other ones has been, um, the Thavarian Bustier, which I am absolutely going to put on my bunny boy. That is gonna be his main glam. Of course, like my I'm being a terrible gremlin with a couple of my um ships. I kind Ah Tian Come on, baby, let's go. Just you and me on an adventure again. Um But yeah, I um 
I'm, I'm thinking about being a terrible gremlin with both him and Wilhelmina. I'm trying to decide on her, um, but I'm, I'm very much feeling that uh, my bunny boy is going to be trans of gendered. And I love that for him. The music's so good. Like this just out in the world music. Ah. Uh... Hold on, I wanna go up the ridge. I wanna go up the ridge. I wanna go up the ridge. Ah. Uh... Good aetherite. Just ah, <sighs> okay. As I break poor Etienne's ankles instead of my own for once, I can't wait to make my bunny boy. I really can't. Also, I need to find where the fuck we pick up our new um, our new uh compass. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh thank god it's they're not dead. They're not dead. Oh thank god. What happened here? Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Thinkest thou they but slumber? <laughs> I need this image. Just it's Wilhelmina like burying her face in Raha's tits. <laughs> mm. I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. Why am I being bonked? You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. Hi, kiddo. I, that's still wholesome. I am Bashan, servant to the satrap. Satra. My task okay. was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. I mean, I see no reason not to. People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? We have new scales? <laughs> well, we see what she's concerned with. <laughs> yes, my friends. Gather around. I have them right here. They are all nerds. Yep, nope. I love I love these people. I love them. Now I can continue my experiment. Many thanks. One for me. I love them. <laughs> I like how Stinny is like, Those what the fuck? Scales. Oh. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. 
Okay. I'm interested, but confused. Did, did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? <laughs> now she's asking the right questions. Of course! You're the one Cryo sent. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Yep, sorry. Got here as quickly as I could stop being uh, ethereally sick. Ah, oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova! Who are you? Do you have any more scales? Yeah, that's how you feel about shadowies. <laughs> yes. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Tell I am me, quite enjoying the music. How did you acquire those scales? Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. Okay. I am... <sighs> I shouldn't be worried, but I am worried. Estenian? Dragon Song War is over, darling. That is well. There we go. You must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? I mean, to be fair, he takes to um El Catul like really, really well. So it's like you should not be judging people on dragons. Very loudly dragoon quests this whole interaction. Is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? Oh no. Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? I mean, yes. I should like to draw a file or two, if so. Get your hands off my man! Now, see here. I'm just gonna come see Astinian up in the air in like 20 seconds. Apology. Cease your shoving, or so help me. <laughs> that was a thing! Oh, it was right the mode! What with the new scales in your tiny <laughs> arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. <laughs> I... C caveman? Caveman? Would you like to share with the class? Ah, <laughs> uh, just, oh my god, Orion Shay using the pay respects emote as... It just, I am so surprised. I am so surprised that Ar like, that Estinian let himself be dragged off. I thought that bitch was gonna yeet. <laughs> like this, the, the seam split down your back. Oh, it didn't rip in the fun way. Fine, I guess. Was it not a very stretchy material, and did it not have a gusset in the back? Hi, sorry. Loudly, uh, sewing persons, this. Yeah, that sounds, like, kind of funky, but unfortunately, like, a lot of clothing nowadays is, uh, not made very well. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? There better not be any harm come to him. I need him in working order. Kind of an old shirt. Imagine kind of cheap. Ah, understandable. Provided by work. Ah, even worse. As you may have guessed, I am Nidana, the alchemist who sent a request to your mistress, Cryo. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here at the great work where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. At least you have a jumper on? Yeah. 
I mean, I would assume that you're at home, but if you're not, like, that is unfortunate. Jesus, say you something to learn on the fly. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Moon, what have you done to yourself? Oh, for the days when I enjoyed such fervent adoration, but on this occasion I am glad to entrust the burden of popularity to Astenian. Tis said that, self that shellfish is ideal for those who have suffered blood loss. Mayhap we should have acquired some uh, from Metsaya. Pray, uh, pay me no mind. I am here that I might be of service, nothing more. I don't trust that. I hate that I am so mistrusting of Varshan just from like the start here. <laughs> yeah, also agreed, Ink. Like, <laughs> there is a lot of blood on Astinian's lance, and um, <laughs> not all of it is dragon. There's there's a lot of Garlean blood on it too. Also, very loudly, clean your fucking weapons! All of you! That's aimed at, you know... I mean, aimed at chat if you have them, but also very much just aimed at the game. Now, allow me to thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared with around the world, and we are grateful that you would assist us with ours. Though Cryle herself is tied up with another investigation, Morgan is an eminent, eminently capable substitute, and we will spare no effort to aid you. So, if I understand correctly, you seek to make talismans that can nullify etheric emissions. Indeed we do. As you know, the tower admits vast quantities of aether, vast concentrations of aether. One cannot go anywhere near it without being tempered. As such, we can only study the tower from afar and are powerless to deal with it, with it in any consequential way. In order to strike back, the satrap, the satrap has... Uh, yeah bade us alchemists to create enchanted talismans talismans that will allow our soldiers to venture into the tower even should they lack innate protection could such a thing be possible admittedly we are still in the midst of testing but we are quite confident even prior to this our people have long pursued the countermeasures uh, against etheric corruption of primals of the methods tested to date those utilizing dragon scales proved most promising Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disruptive forces. The mightier the dragon, the greater the resistance. Oh. Interesting. We seek to amplify this protective property through our alchemy. Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we'll be ready to conduct a field test, and here is where you and your blessing of light come in. Whatever it is, lead it to me. Uh, what a, what exactly is it that you need me to do? Better than having my blood drawn, I suppose. <laughs> uh, what exactly uh, is it need? What exactly is it you need me to do? Nothing complicated, I assure you. We only ask that you serve as a, as yeah. We only ask you that you serve as an escort. I will explain in greater detail later, but you will be venturing into the tower's uh, field of influence. And so, for your own safety, I would first test how well your blessing shields you, with your permission, of course. In that case, Orion Jay and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing as you all work to the point of collapse, I suspect, I suspect that you could do with more hands. We would be grateful for any assistance you can provide. I like her outfit. I think the flowers are really cute. If you are ready, then let us put your blessing to the proof. If you exit the great work and turn south, there will be a hill to the right. I will meet you atop uh, after seeing to some preparations. Oh no. And you 
Fuck. I hope you didn't have any trouble finding this place or climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to the physical strain. I give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many sleepless nights, the drunken Adipa. Adipa is a lantern presented to the gods as an offering. Taking inspiration from tradition, we created this device to test the talisman's efficacy. Upon activation, it will move to a certain it will move a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of aether. In lay of corruption, those lacking in sufficient protection will experience severe aether sickness. For your, uh, for your test, you will be exposed four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective cap capability. The fact that we're quantifying this now is really interesting. Um... Uh, please begin where, where, whenever you're ready. I shall observe from a safe distance. Commencing a theric exposure testing. Repeat. Commencing a theric exposure testing. Retreat to a safe distance if you are not the subject. Follow drunk and deepest lead and try not to fall behind. Oh, this music is fun. Ready, Aether, please stand back. I mean... Burning discharging aether. You are struck by a powerful blast of aether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject has no irrepressible urge to empty their stomach. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. This is actually really well done for, like, keeping pace with it. So you stand back. You're struck with another powerful blast of aether, but suffer no ill effects. Subject, stomach, and bowel integrity holding confirmed. Resuming test, please follow. Little buddy, where are we going? You're struck by yet another blast of, uh, powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. The blessing of light appears to be keeping you safe from harm. Subject fortitude rated impressive. No irregularities confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow embrace for final final discharge. Be interesting if we do get sick on this last one. You were struck by the strongest blast of Aether yet, but survived completely unscathed. Etheric exposure testing concluded. Please collect and deliver me to the supervising alchemist. Congratulations on retaining your composure, your composure and your humors. Ah, 
Now you've returned, and not on your knees. A promising sign, but come, let me take the Deepa off of your hands. Thank you, I shall replenish its aether for when we test the talisman. So no dizziness or nausea or anything of the sort, you're feeling perfectly fine? Then the strength of the blessing is beyond doubt. There is no risk that the tower will corrupt your aether. With this, we can request for your aid at the task at hand with easy hearts. Elise. Hmm, you're a capable warrior too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assisting me with another errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special link, but we have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it, spirit weed. The herb grows not far from here, and I would go and harvest some. Uh, with the recent spate of kidnappings, however, we Arcasidara uh, travel alone at our own peril. Uh, Arcasidara um, travel alone at our own peril. Will you not come with me as escort? I would, I would compensate you for your troubles, of course. You gotta be gay. I mean, understandable. I am in your debt. Without further ado, let us go ahead to Kajaya, Kajaya's footsteps. It is situated in the road which runs east of the Great Work. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm going to take a little bit of headache medicine just so this doesn't actually turn into something anything worse. God, I hate that I don't have my Aether Current. I, I, I hate that I don't have the... Uh... God, what is it called? Compass. Right now. Because I feel like I'm missing a ton of Aether Currents, but there's only, like, apparently four? Hold on, let me see. Um, Where's Travel? Oh no, there's a bunch in Fenvir. I guess it was another area that we was talking about. Mm. I may be simply imagining it, but it feels as though we're being followed. Look out, Morgan. But that gave me a fright to thank the moment I ventured outside the safety of the work. Thank the sisters I ask you to come. You're all right, I hope. Good, good. Let us continue on then. It isn't far now. Just through these pillars and up the rise. gosh and here we are Kajaya's footsteps Kajaya was a great dancer and those who follow her well you know they came to this place to train and dedicate their dance to their ancestors 
A happy benefit of this is that, uh, is that spirit weed grows here in abundance. I will set about harvesting at once if you'll be so good as to stand guard. The kidnappers aren't like to return soon, but better safe than sorry. Mm, I see an aetherite nearby. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my god. Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. Yeah, well, the scene's mostly green. That's why. Like, if we don't like the color overlay, I can always swap it off. And commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Uh, what do you, what can you tell me of the satrap? Do you trust the satrap? What can you tell me of them? Because it sounds like it, like you can already infer that like they trust him fairly well. It seems like, or at least they're dependent on him. Good morning, Ona. Well, he he is the most important person in Radzat Han. How goes it so far? I'm in love. I, lo I, I, I just, I knew that I was going to enjoy this a lot, but I am enjoying this so much more than I expected. I, I I've got so ago, much Astinian content. was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasotra. Ar Arkasotra. Okay, Arkasotra, Arkasotra, Arkasotra. I will do my best to remember that. When the Aura came to these shores, mm. It was the Arka Sodra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. I am I'm so very thoroughly enjoying it and I'm I'm hoping everyone that's watching is enjoying me just like being completely enamored with this game once again. Someday, Ona, I'll drag you in to join me. <laughs> it was a direct ancestor of the present Satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people, but when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Radzad Han to thrive all these years. And it was the satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. <laughs> Bless them. I'm glad they got the correct time off. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. way to admire one of my splendid towers and what do i find fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets oh i can not wait to rip your head off i seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past what was that man's name oh something owing Oh, a 
another body, another time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Excuse me? Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plan. Excuse me? And yet, I find myself deathly cured. Pantaleon being a mon makes so much goddamn sense! With the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal. Holy fuck! Okay, that... Okay, yeah, no, no. That makes so much fucking sense. Oh my god. <laughs> Complications be damned. For we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. Unless he was also Owen, which... Oh my gosh, I have so many theories now. Yeah, Crystal Tower Amon. He, from what I remember, if I'm remembering this correctly, um, he was the one who told Owen to stop his research. And that is either Van Daniel cursing his past self for putting that work in, or, or he was Amon, which stopped that research. But with the theatrics and everything else, I could see him being a mon. All those theories... What? I don't know what uh, BTFO means, or I can't remember what it means offhand. Blow the fuck out. If he is a mon, yeah. Just like... <sighs> saying that he's his own worst enemy actually makes me think it's more likely that he was either a part of that research or... was working with Owen, maybe? I'm not sure. Just, that's a lot to think about. That is a lot to think about. Uh, let's head back to the great work, shall we? Oh, sorry, I didn't read that first one. Um, I have enough spirit weed to last us a good while. Thank you for keeping watch. Let us head back to the great work, shall we? Another body, another time. Who would be expected to remember every last trivial detail? Just... People thought Grandpa was a mon. Yes, um, and I was one of those people that was like, you know, it just based off of his movements and his theatrics and everything. Like Amon being um, a Met made a lot of sense, but like when you look at like what Amon was doing and what um, a Met was doing at the time, it doesn't make any sense. So. I am I am more of the thought process now that it's either Van Daniel or Van Daniel is working somewhere in um in with uh that faction. Just him talking about being his own worst enemy, like is very interesting. I wonder if we're gonna get like some um like, Van Daniel Dissociation. Because now I'm very curious if to- if he's like... Oh, the battle music's so good! I love it.
Morgan, my thanks again for your assistance. For your help, you were a little closer to completing our talisman. I have said much, but please accept my, that as a token of my gratitude. If you will excuse me, I shall return to my work on the talisman. Ah, uh, you're both back. Excellent. I have a message for you, Mistress Niranha. It would seem that the stores are giant scholar running low. What? But when last I looked, there was still plenty. I suspect that was before Orion J told everyone about the tempering cure, and Astinian sh shared his knowledge of dragons. Your peers have since been inspired to fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. I see. Well, if it leads to the new possibilities, then far be it for me to complain, but we will need to replenish our stores. I should be happy to tend to this if you like. As much as I appreciate the offer, my dear boy, I can't in good conscience send you out there alone while kidnappers are at large. Morgan, I loathe as I am to press another task on you so soon. May I ask you to fetch the gi giant skull? In case you're not familiar, giant skull is a type of ore found on the island. Owing to its uh, hardness and ethereal conductivity, it has applications in many disciplines, alchemy not least of all. The quarry where it's found, aptly named Giant Skull Grounds, isn't far away, so it shouldn't take much of your time. Might we impose upon you once more? I am a level 80 miner after all. Thank you. Upon arriving on the grounds, please take out a man named Zehunya? Ze Zen Zen Zenunya? Nunha? Zenunha? He will furnish you with the ore. At the very least, permit me to accompany you, so it so happens I have an errand of my own that will take me to the outpost nearby. Did my, my nail broke, fucking May we borrow a pair of Hamsa, Mistress Niranha? By all means, do try to be patient with them. Those that survived are still in training. I'll bring the Hamsa to the interest. Meet me there when you are ready. Question mark? Okay, one second as I, uh... File my nail back into shape. I hear Namazu squeaking! Fucking fish bastards. Moon, dumb question. Where do we pick up the new um, Aether Current compass? If you know. If you don't, then understandable. Advancing MSQ. Ah, okay. Here are Hamsa Morgan. If the creatures look familiar, it is because they are close kin to your Eorzean dodos. Hamsa have long been kept as livestock at their then <laughs> Denver and Charlene split stuff. Yeah, um, and many hatchery may be found here. Alas, the largest of these were recently raised by monsters from the tower. On account of said hatchery being situated near the tower, the radiant host for purposes remains as an outpost. 
That is why my Aaron, that is where my Aaron takes me and your own destination is about a throw, stone's throw away. If you have no objections, let us first make for the outpost. We set forth at your word. Are you ready? Then let us depart. You need only relax, uh, ride and relax. My bird and I will take the lead for yours to follow. Wait, we're riding these things? Let us be off. If you haven't ridden Dodos before, be warned that they have a wobbling gait. <laughs> this is so fucking dumb! <laughs> Ma'am... <laughs> Ma'am, your hands. <laughs> that spectacular formation stretching out over the water is called the Kaga uh, Swordland uh, Magnus uh, against Margra before it was cast down at Conflict's End. Oh, I love this. Uh, to the left and requiring no introduction is the tower. As you can see, it straddles a small aisle. What cracks me up is that you were like, oh, you're finally back at 200k, and me, I like casually made 500k yesterday to get me back to over 6 mil. Almost there. Though the main part of the hatchery is atop the cliff, the outpost itself is on the beach. I just, how do you spend so much money? I don't understand, Elise. Like, I'm leveling, I, I'm leveling crafters, and I still have this much money. Money burns a hole in your pocket. It seems like it. Of course, most of the stuff that I want, I need to grind for. It's not like stuff that can be bought, so I get that. I really do the, like the look of that sword, though. Um, and here we are, men by the Radiant Host. This outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. Well, well, who should it be but young Vashon on an errand for the sat satrap? I am. His Excellency bade me come collect your report. Don't buy anything, Elise! He also wished to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging dedication. We simply do our duty, but are, we are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for his boundless uh, benevolence, his treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous. I don't give a fuck! Save money! Hi, Kuno! Though we have enjoyed a relative peace and calm these past few days, this remains the front line of battle. No place for children. Your predecessor, too, often traveled alone. It's been, what, two years now since you took over? I wonder how the fellow is faring. I don't give a fuck! Save your money! Like those before him, he went on to represent the Satrap in foreign lands. Wherever he may be now, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all that I do, I do of my own volition and gladly. I pray you do not think ill of his excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith in the Satrap is unwavering. But still, I worry for you. Uh, we would be overcome with sadness if something were to, fall, were to befall you. You are a little brother to us all. Take care, you hear? No! Just save money, Elise! I will, uh, Nabdin. Nam, na, Nabdin? Thank you. No! Don't butt me! The fact that you're looking at Tsukiyomi weapons, which are in the millions, you're not getting it anytime soon. So save your fucking money. And who might this be? Not Hanish by the look of her. Permit me to introduce Mordon Ildena of the Eorzean Contingent, come to assist in the making of the talisman. From Eorzea, you say? Talers have appeared there too. Yes, tell me, what is the situation like? 
Might I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn something of value, I believe. An excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat of some of ours are understandably anxious, we would be glad for any tidings you can share. Yeah, and how fucking long is it going to take you to get to 700k if you spend your money right now? You don't even have any money-making opportunities with the classes you have. Like, you don't have crafters leveled. Which, that's one thing. I need to start grinding crafters as soon as I can here. YouTube, bring Varshawn the latest report and answer my questions, any questions he may have. You know, goldsmith at 80. Well, now you need it at 90 to make money, so... M hoodie? I've heard about you, the visitor from Eorzea. Is there anything you can tell us about the Tlofroy? We know that they're the ones behind the tower and that they've declared war on the whole world. Stop sobbing and get to work! <laughs> Crying ain't done nobody no good. <laughs> well, why are they doing this? What is it that they want? This we don't understand. What? They want to die and take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, you can bet that we won't let those bastards have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have, like our Eorzean and Far Eastern brothers. Yes. Or even better, level your gatherers so that you can get the stuff for your crafters so that you spend less money trying to level them. It occurs to me that I have yet to properly introduce our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. Our duty is to preserve the peace in the land, be it patrolling the streets or dealing with herefore two unknown threats such as now. We train hard and admit only capable warriors to our ranks. Even so, we've struggled to contend with the fiends from the towers. From the tower. Though we succeeded in striking them down on two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. What of the towers in Eorzea? Do they like li likewise spawn monsters? It's so much the s so it's much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls for outside aid to be answered. You wish to know about the tower? To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. This tower of Zot, as folks have taken to call it. To calling it suddenly appeared where or it did on the island of Nuanar? Nar Narunar Narunar. We're safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far into the water and you'll expose yourself to its corrupting aether. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How are they dealing with the tower in your homeland? Not very well. Our struggles are not unique. Uh, then our hopes still lie from with the talismans. We must keep the monsters contained until they're ready. Finished speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it was enlightening for you as it was for them. As a neutral nation with trading hub both... Um, in Trading Hub Boat, the Rotsatan ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Alas, the stream dried up when trading vessels stopped coming. Amid the death, dearth of information, everyone will have been grateful for your account. But come, you had best seem to your original errand, and mine will keep me here a while longer, I'm afraid. I cannot guide you the rest of the way. Worry not, the path is straightforward. You need, but follow the road east. Upon Hamsa, you will arrive before you know it. Brief though it was, I enjoyed our time together. Till we meet again. Alright, buddy. Though the Hamza appears to want to return home, it reluct reluctantly offers you its back. I mean, I don't have to ride the Hamza if he doesn't want to go. I can I've got my own I've, I've got my own. Should you become separated from your steed, speak with the radiant beast keeper at Hamza Hatchery to mount it again. All right, buddy. Uh, which way are we going? 
Oh, that tiny, that tiny little speck there. See if there's a way around or not. Actually, now that I think about it, I need to go do start doing turn-ins for my crafters again. Nope. That is a fucking wall. Okay. Yep. Everything... got limit cut. But I like how um, this is all set up now with the all of the DPS down here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go um, into the Diadem and try to level Minor Botanist and Fisher first. Um, and then start working on... <sighs> do I get the rest to 80 first, or do I focus on getting, like, Weaver, Culinarian, and Blacksmith, and Goldsmith to 90? I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. I do like that they're adding these for, like, big clarity on uh, where you're supposed to go. No sooner do you arrive at your destination than the Hensa da dashes off. That's fine with me. Let the poor thing rest. Anyways. Cute Ara boy. I this is indeed the giant stall grounds, and I am Zen Zenuna? Is there something you require? Giant skull for the alchemists, you say, but of course they shall have it. The, they labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and tis the least that we can do to provide them with the materials they need. Here you are, a second of the purest giant skull. We are not al we always set some aside for our alchemist friends. When you deliver it, let the good folk at the great of the great work know that we're grateful for their efforts. If they need more, they need but ask. Uh there's nothing else here for me to do, right? Okay, cool. Alchemist or dancer? I... how much is it? Oh, that? Yeah, let's just teleport. Let's fucking go. Uh, welcome back, Morgan. Dare I hope that you have the giant skull? Oh my, such fine specimens. Thank you so much for bringing these. We now have everything we need to make our next prototype, one that should be capable of passing our most rigorous tests. When you're ready, uh, when it is ready, it'll be time for the true test, so please take your ease while you can. Oh, my ear itches. So badly. Oh, no. Where's Astenian? What have you done to my awful husband? I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. Hi, Thancred. Hey, it's all the boys. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. Yes, they are. I've never been one for blind optimism. 
but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. I just worry with that showing of Finn Daniels. Uh, I like the new thread that they have, like, running through the music. They had better be, or all this effort was for naught. Somebody's grumpy. The peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavne, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Mm -hmm. Yet ere they succumbed to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we? They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Ariane J, I am way too sober for this conversation. Poetic and ominous to a fault. That said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you'd think. Also, this is a good time to point out, Orion J has the gift of prophecy. And I can only imagine how much that weighs on him to like know what's going to happen or have like inklings of what's going to happen and not interfere in it because I think that he's chosen like a stance of um not interfering of his own accord at least or at least gently guiding um but yeah god that has to be a lot of weight on his shoulders Thang Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. And yet, when spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? I haven't. Bancred, what the fuck? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope. No words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Why do we have... Why are y'all a bunch of negative Nancys here? Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment, as you have. <sighs> all right, all right. Everybody get in. We're going to therapy. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. <sighs> Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. Ugh. My blanket's too warm. Sag. As will I. Besides, our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. <laughs> A little shrug. God, I love him. I don't like this. What is it? 
What did you see? I don't like this. Sam Daniel, are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. It holds. The vessel holds. This is the one. At long last. Look, we have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments. We've named it a warding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should Why be does it look like Hydaelyn? Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of the What did you spend your 500k on? I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. It is for the next stage of our plan that Majority and crafter gear. To accompany me to I mean, yeah, I spent like 2.5 gearing my crafter. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me, or knock me senseless. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Nidana, I, I... Are you certain you wish to do this? If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to... The dream set? Them. But should I fail to return... Then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. Is that clear? We'll ah, right, the Christmas set. Away. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us or you. Be on your guard. Can I at least take a Stenian with me? Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. Oh, just be careful. I am lucky that I am a one that does not like Christmas, so I don't have to worry about... <laughs> ...buying any of those sets, though. While we're in... Do I pick this up now? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you have a moment, Adventure? One of my colleagues has gone missing. She said she was going to um, Kajaha's footsteps to get a bit of exercise, but she hasn't come back. I'd go search for her, but it's almost time for shift change and I can't very well leave my kiln to operate itself. Could you find her and fetch her for me? You're too kind. She would- she should be in Karaha's foot- Kara- Ka Karaha's- Karaja's footsteps. Uh, keep an eye out for a here with black hair. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. She was out the last time you were by and was devastated that she missed out on the chance to meet one of the students about Desian. She probably didn't use it much at all, but yeah. Uh, 
uh, we'll worry about the side quests later. I have a feeling we'll be back out there anyways. And if not, well, we'll just make our ways over there later. God, that's ominous. But this area is so pretty. I mean, the game's just gorgeous. And I'm not biased in that. Oh, we've got Guki. Valras here, though. merchant ships or is that I can't decide if those are Garlean or not this is a rather finer boat than I had expected but I won't complain all that remains is to board and be on our way oh and if I should become corrupted do not state your hand of course I pray that it does not come to that but you must protect yourself other alchemists can fulfill my role, but you and your blessing are one of a kind, and perhaps our only hope for toppling this tower. For all our sakes, do not hesitate to do what must be done, whatever that may be. I am a little bit anxious that they're emphasizing this so much. If not for this part, for like, later parts. Like, please don't temper someone that I love and have me kill them game. Well, the longer I draw this out, the more nervous I become. Let's be off. <sighs> we should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. This music's back. Any moment now. Why do I get the feeling that Daniel's just gonna swoop out of nowhere and take it? No, this isn't it isn't his music anymore. Yeah. It's working. And you you are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fades closer to the tower if we could. We just don't want to make landfall. Why did we make landfall? So far, so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. <sighs> Few more steps. Don't Icarus, that is exactly what I'm feeling like we're gonna do. <sighs> Praise be to the sisters, we made it! And the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. I'm just expecting her to get stabbed right here. Now we can focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. Please get away from the tower. Please just get away from the tower. What? Why did I fucking say? Ah! <sighs> 
I am not amused. I knew it. I knew that we shouldn't have gotten that close. Now we've lost her and the scale. Van Daniel. Oh, do calm down. You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. Stop! Oh, you can't do this! Please! Of course, we're too fucking late. Can't we not stand the late for heroics, I'm afraid. Hmm. The similarities are striking. My, my, such hostility. Never before has my artistry so displeased. My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight, though. Between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. No, you don't. What are you talking about? Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asiel. I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. That would explain some things. Um, there's been theories with Van Daniel's soul crystal um, that it's incomplete or broken um because unlike some of the other crystals like it fades in and out of what it was saying um during the cutscenes with you collecting the convocation crystals so it's been theorized that fan daniel is not only sundered but also unwhole they need to not show cryo walking next to you oh no Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. And who is me, Van Daniel? Now are you reaching the top of your shins? Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Van Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. Okay. How to explain? Perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes? Yes. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old me. Um, um at your, your service. service. Okay then. Just come out and say it, Squeenix. Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Okay, so definitely not a Metzelk. Day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled. A 
and ripe for decay. You are a genius without peer, Amon. However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull <laughs> even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing what an asshole oh, oh, the memory of it <laughs> my poor sides my friends and i were so consumed by laughter we struggled to breathe no more than entertainment for bored wastrels, ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. But it was not their only indulgence. Catboy into a bun boy, you wish that there were a few more face variations? Yeah. Slaves to the slightest hint. see the poison purged I resurrected a legend our first and greatest emperor and just as I had planned we might actually have a new available hairstyle sweet back on the path of conquest an inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards always onwards yet he who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon. No matter how vast one's empire or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war, and so I have come to claim you. Hey, While husband. your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth, majestic and tragic, as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life? I did. I did. I got about four to five hours of sleep, but unfortunately that was all that I got. Also, these are very big spoilers for Endwalker, so, you know, understandable if you uh, want to go ahead and dip do at. Actually, I need to DM you. Um... So easily to 
distracted. Why? I almost left without saying farewell. That's kind of something we can't avoid. As for your friend, you need worry. These horns are far more useful to me alive as fuel for the prime. Motherfucker. Uh, uh, uh. If you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So, enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. Uh, if you are down for it, yes. Um, I might have gotten my account prepped in, uh, in order for that last night. Your favorite playmate is ever so eager to see. Ah, you are returned, but where is Mrs. Nidandra? Minsoya preserved, just when we had succeeded in making the talisman. E. Just as we had succeeded in- yep. Yeah, uh, I must report this at once. Meanwhile, please return to the great work. What barding is that on the chocobo? Dancer barding? I didn't know that there was dancer barding for chocobos. That's actually a really neat um, combination for for the chocobo barding. Um, but yeah, I'll send you uh, the information in a little while. Hey, catch you later, Ink. Have a good day at work. I hope that it treats you well. I'm so angry that I'm just like, yeah, no, I could see this coming from a mile away, which is why I was screaming, don't do the thing. But does anybody listen to me? No, no one ever listens to me. We have plenty of data without being that close to the tower. Incred. Something's gonna rye, hasn't it? What happened? So it was San Daniel after all. Damn it, that bastard. I'm sure you wanted to do more, but you were right to return here first. We must tread warily lest we endanger Nidanha and the other track captives. First, we must inform everyone of the situation, Nadana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I think that it would be best if you were the one to explain. It's not exactly much that I could do in that whole situation either. Oh, Nadana. Can you answer me this? Though Naranja is trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes? Then... Then we must... Uh, then we must make warding scales, as many as we can. The prototype worked perfectly. This Naranja proved her at peril to herself. So let us make more scales that she and the others who might... Uh, who were taken might be saved. 
I, as Alchemist, this is how we will help win the fight. I'm glad that that just steeled their resolve. My friends, the Satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he bade me give you this Link Pearl that he may personally discuss the production of the warding scales with you. As for Eorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Ms. Naranja vote noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creation. This fact came to the Sat Satrap's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. In addition for thanking you in person, he would discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, will you not accompany me to Ratsatan for an audience with His Excellency? We should be honored, of course. Close co closer cooperation between lands can only be a benefit after uh, of all. Then it is settled. Please come to the gates east of Giant Skull Grounds, and I will show you into the city. Okay, I'm going to take a second. Um, I need to go pee again. I'll be right back. Um, well then. Well then. I will be right back. Oh god, and thus the flesh begins to waver. Stood up, stretched, and I got a crick in my neck. Ah, uh, it's okay. You're gonna stretch. Ah. Oh. Or at least I'm going to stand up and stretch a little bit more. Um. Oh. 
So how's y'all's MSQ going? Um, also, Elise, which did you pick? Did you go? Did you stay in Charlian or did you go to um, Fenrir as well? Someone bought all the hard mugged stone and has a monopoly on the market. You went to then? Okay. Oh yeah, you were at the with me at the um in the city. Duh. I'm actually surprised I haven't run into you again. We might be on different instances. And headphones back on. I'm gonna do one more thing before I immediately hop in. You're currently in the Crustarium? Oh, okay. Alright, there's that handled. Now, scene. Alright. Cool, okay, I'm glad that I didn't do the side quest just yet. Selling mudstone, what, mudstone, whetstone for 10k per pop. That's actually really funny. I mean, that's one way to make sure that you're getting the price that you want for it. But then I would, like, come in and make a bunch of mudstone and just, like, undercut them by half. I actually wouldn't. I'm too lazy. But that is one way to completely flip the market if you have the money to do so. You already had the whetstone? Yeah. I do not. This is a very naked war. Hold on. Hold on. Can I... Yep, no, very naked war. Hmm, what do you mean I need to get back to work? Oh, have I really been out that long? I really, I should really go. But I was hoping to get a better look at the stage before I left. I'm sure you're busy, but could you assist me for a moment? Thank you, I'll inspect the walls, so could you make sure the stage is in order? I mean, you can. Some of the paint is worn off, it could use a fresh coat. The cloth wavers exquisitely in the wind, no problems here. Looks like maybe a little bit of a scrub up is needed down here. There's a small hole in the floor. That can't be good. <clears throat> Any problems? The floor and the paint. I'll have to fix the next time I come by. Thank you for checking. You know, it seems odd that I'd never met you until now. You wouldn't happen to be the adventure sent by the students of Aldessian, would you? 
You are in here. I was delegated you menial task. If I had known... I always admired travelers like you. You see, when I was studying to be a dancer under Mistress Na Nashimira, at one time, I wanted to see the realm as travel as I traveled for performances. And maybe I still can. Not as a dancer, but uh, of course, but as an alchemist. Oh, but we should hurry back to the great work. I wouldn't want I don't want to cause any more trouble than I already have. Well, we will see her later then. Mmm. I might die. Oh, can I can I not drive off the edge of this? Oh, <gasps> boo! Boo game. Oh my god. They have taken away my only joy in this life. Well, I, I guess that's not actually an area that we can um jump down to. Fine. Take your logic and invisible fucking walls and keeping me from jumping off of high places and <gasps> Aethercurrent! Yeah, no, it's not cheap to level things. Especially crafters if you're not, uh... gathering this stuff yourself. And making it. Logic, don't know her. I... <sighs> the game tries to be good to me, I understand that. Oh, well, that's interesting. Genshin is apparently giving us a bunch of primogens because, um... Uh, partner... PlayStation Partner Awards, Grand Award, and, uh, Music Award runner-up. Interesting. I wonder if that's gonna be, like, you log in and they give it to you from the 4th to the 7th? You acquired the alchemist job because potions are neat? Understandable. Do not blame you for that. No idea what to do with it, though. Um, I mean, in the long term, it's just, like, a money maker after a while. And, um, another thing with it is, uh, you can make raid materials, um, which can also fetch a pretty penny. They kind of learned from the backlash of the anniversary. They really did, which I do appreciate. All present, then let us proceed. Owing to the threat of the tower, the city is currently in a state of high alert and strict restrictions are in place for entry. Though you have been granted special permission, I ask that you remain close to me at all times. A vast rock squats upon Favnir. And to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. They basically gave nothing on the last word, but yeah, at least they did learn from the backlash. Like, actually reward your players because you would be nothing without them. And piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. Which I guess that's why I feel like we're spoiled with Final Fantasy fourteen. Like, we get a bunch of neat stuff that's just like integrated in the game, and then when we get awards and things, like it feels like we get other cool stuff. The fragrant haze. I mean, hell. Sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries. For being active with stuff, we got a really cool jacket in the last um, Moogle Tome event. Which, yeah, we had to grind for it, but like... Travelers seduced by vivid sound and I appreciate that we got the jacket at all. By patchwork streets. I can't believe I'm already at Rod's at hand. 
inevitably become a femme wrath when that comes. Yeah. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine experience because they basically this? remade the game for the fans? Mm hmm. Yeah, they did a last ditch effort to try to make the game work. And dear God, has it ever worked? God, that hair is so cute. Here we are. Half a ten pull. I mean, it's better than nothing, Moon. But also, I don't know if it's just a singular giveaway that they're doing, or if we're getting multiple giveaways, like... If it's 800 every day from the 10th to the 7th, like, that is, that is a, you know, that is two groupings of 10 pulls. So 20 total. <laughs> You're gonna bring Morrigan to Brazil. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. Oh, wait, are you serious? It's only 200 each day? For 800 total? Okay, never mind. That's absolute shit. I'm afraid so. Come. We should head inside. Fastest company to make it to one billion, by the way. Yeah. Or er, game. Yeah. I got what you mean. Can't even give us a crumb. A single, a single ten pull. See, I was thinking it was 800 each day, which would have been acceptable. But half of that for all of the money that's been put into this fucking game, I swear. Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a Well, Moon Mint game, but put company. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the warding scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. <sighs> but Naranha, she was taken, not everything went to plan. A regrettable incident, indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nidana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Estenian? Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. <sighs> Estenian, don't you dare pull your lance. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. I mean, I also trust an Estinian, but it's also like, for the love of God. We're in a- we're in a foreign land. There's only so much that we can do. Don't- don't rile the natives too much. As you wish. Besides, I, like, knowing that there was a dragon here, yeah.
You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesia. But you are known to me. Which worm do we have here? Even here have we heard of the science of the seventh dawn. Leak of a wor rework on the UI for crafting? I love this dragon design. Holy fuck! Less rolling bar to get the item? Oh, cool. Yeah, it sounds like you're the only one who stayed in Charland. <laughs> You were awarded best. I am not looking at spoilers for the Charlian route yet. God, that's such a cool design, though. Ritra of the First Brood, sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. I, my elder brothers, of Midgard's former spawn, I was last to hatch. Can I just like casually pull his dad out of my pocket? <laughs> I want to do that. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Han had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a satrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura. Adopting the example of the Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, I will hide, wait. threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus began the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to Fine, I'll stretch the hands. But... If Retra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... Eh. A charade. Yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye. It was taken. You're into the thunder stuff now? Okay. I mean, I would assume that they're roughly the same length, so... Tis he, 
buried within a semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. Well then, I was not expecting that, but I did not trust Varshan for reasons, so... Uh, you do both, then after that you get the first dungeon? Oh, okay, cool. I kind of figured that that was how it would run. Ah, that would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short-lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered. Estinian one blood. Uh, can, can, can we get a list on how he's been, uh, altered? Please? For science? From the very first, we sensed the nature of one Yeah, we're kind of... Yet did a tank and uh his fangs. Well no 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 we're we're a tank, a DPS, and a healer, like and I I have a feeling that um if your player character is in a DPS the Thunder side can't do it. I mean for once, you know, fucking Thancred could flex his rogue skills again. That is all I need know of thee for now. Well, then I completely missed that last sentence. <laughs> all the better for... I mean, that's where my brain was, so, uh, we're both in that, uh, <laughs> we're both there. We're both there, at least. I mean, all the more for Morrigan to enjoy. With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power to spell its wicked influence. Yet even... Mm -hmm. The assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. Oh my god, Elise. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see it <laughs> on a path before. Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. Most recently, thou didst cast down false gods in Pagalthan and Kartanau, I am told. God, I love his voice. Tis upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. Mm -hmm. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Oh, I guess I'm getting done at Thanvir already. Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective 
chance. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Seems like. Well, by Asinian. Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse, nor will I. Stinia is just like wanting to get a move on already. All right, then. The meeting took a rather unexpected turn, but we now have a clear objective ahead of us. Let us rejoin our comrades at Charlian and muster a suitable crew for our foray into the Tower of Zolt. Oh, and you haven't already done so. Be sure to attune to the eighth right here before departing, unless you enjoy Violent Nausea. Um, okay, let me turn this in really quickly. And then I'm actually going to yeet myself back to, um, back home. Uh, oh, wait, um, wait, where is this? Is that up? That's up, isn't it? Um, let me just make sure that it's not right over here, like an idiot. Yeah, no, it's right over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, oh, there you are. I heard that you helped my colleague with her stage inspection while you were out. It's greatly appreciated. She really looks up to your kind, you know. She lost her chance to become a dancer due to an unfortunate injury, and now she's working to heal the sick and injured as an alchemist. She was so happy to meet you, as am I here. A token of our thanks. Aww. I wonder if that would have a different, um... If that would be different if you weren't, um... Oh, I forgot to attune there. Fuck. Um, that's fine. I'll get it later. Do I? No, we'll get that later. We'll get that later. We're going to end up back here anyways. I'm dropping back to Limsa first. I'm going to have to get used to the double clicking on. Oh, I didn't send them out again. Okay, um, actually, I do need to look at this. Squadron missions. Um. Okay, I need to heart and strength. Asinian is Alfie's Bessie. Um, you're wrong if he thinks- Oh yeah, no, no, no. He is definitely pissed about that. I mean, anybody that knows the twins and, like, gives a singular shit about them would be angry about that, let's be honest.
Yes, I know they're at max level right now, game. You don't need to keep telling me that. I know I need to level things in order for them to get leveled. Is it still going for this much, or did they drop price? Nope. Let's see... Yeah, no, that's not true at all. It depends on what level, like, how good the gear is on your retainers to what they bring back. For the most part. Um, it, it is a, it, like, it's RNG. But, like, the better the stuff that you have equipped, like, the higher the chance that they're gonna bring back really good stuff. Alright, I need to see something really quickly here. Alright, hairstyle. Let's see. Do we have anything new? Oh! We just get a Stinian's haircut. We- we just- Why does she look so hot with this? Like, I just... Alright, we're cancelling that, but... God, she looks good with the Stenian's haircut. Jesus Christ. Check in with the Calamity Salvager, because let me see if I can get my belt with my uh, materia back. Speed belt exchange? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that is fucking hilarious. Okay, um... Selenation. Retrieve obsolete belts. Retrieve lost belts. Okay, um... Yes. Oh, I can just, like, take all of these back. Okay, um... Alright, I'll worry about this later, but, um... All right, um... Ah, that's such an expensive teleport. I mean, I'm in fucking limbs, so I don't have to teleport. That bow looks really cool, though. And as if they heard me say shit. All right. 
right, um, Arcanist Guild. Um, wait. There we go, 300 gil. That sounds much better. Oh, I didn't mean to turn off Iron Will, but that's fine. What are those wings? They have to be from the demon set, right? Okay, that's why. Mm -hmm. Just as I was getting used to the balmy, uh, to balmy thun there, um, Thavnir, we're back in chilly Charlian. Take care not to catch your death, eh? We need you for the battles to come. Now then, your investigation here remains, but when that's over, we can take stock of all the developments um, and discoveries. The conflict between Nidhogg and I is in the past. Though they were brothers, it has no bearing on my view towards Vitra. Above all else, he is a leader of men, not an enemy. He would hardly dedicate his life to this endeavor if he bore any or kind any ill will. Tis true. Vitra and his alchemists have prepared us for a foray into the tower. What we may accomplish within its twisted halls remaineth to be seen. The Arstok, um, Arkstara, uh, Arkst Arkstadera, um, languish in Telophoroi chains, doth forewarn us of the nature of our foe. Tis the gods of Thanvir... Um, who will be summoned to thwart us. An unsettling change has come over Charlian, but altogether we will divine the underlying cause of the forum's callousness. As I mentioned before, however, the question questioning the counselors directly is a fruitless endeavor. They seem to have already come to a consensus as to what and how little they are willing to divulge. When, uh, which is why I began scouring Charlian's archive of historical records for any hint of a connection to the final days. Suffice it to say that the progress has been slow. There, there are only so many dusty pages one can skim in a day, but now that I have this band of willing reinforcements, the search shall should proceed all the swifter. Let us reconvene outside uh, Numon, shall we? Exit the annex to the right and you'll find the archives on the western, western edge of the woods. I won't get to tag along behind my husband anymore. I'm upset. -y. Mm, let me go pick up this quest before we do anything else. Mm -hmm. Hunt for specimens. Oh, 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 new hunts. Okay. I will deal with that later, but for right now... I am going to hit the Studium Aether right before anything else. Oh, 
Oh, I'm excited. I get to go back and start doing hunt trains soon. I've missed doing them. Yeah, he really does, which is kind of hilarious. Well, there goes Sage. My directions were easy enough to follow, I hope. In any case, you stand now before the doors of Numion, Charlene's grandest collection of books and tomes. This building is actually only an entrance, one of many, um, and one of many at that, for the archives of Normon extend deep beneath the surface like the roots of a tree. The vast halls of the Great Google Library pale in comparison to Numon's endless maze of subterranean chambers. Any citizen of Charlene is free to enter and peruse its shelves, well, most of the shelves. Only Archons are afforded access to certain restricted vaults. I've dispatched Tola and Raha to investigate those. Meanwhile, as Alize and Alphano will help me continue my search through the stacks open to the general public. Your status presents more of a problem. As a non-citizen, you are only permitted to browse the first floor here at the entrance. Even so, there should be a number of books which touch upon Charlene history or foreign policy. Your task will be to find and study the relative publications. I promise you a working knowledge of those subjects will make it far easier to spot the sort of clues we're looking for. Let us be about it, shall we? I've only told I've told the others about to meet us here um, at the stone benches over there once they've found some promising tomes. Happy reading. Well. Ah, why are my lips like this? Uh, Story of Charlian, yes. Long ago, on an island in the Northern Sea, there lived a Rodigan man by the name of Nurmkruf. Nurmkruf was a student of astrology, and he divined that a flood of terrifying proportions would soon sweep over the lands of Eorzea. So it was, it was him that built a gigantic ship, assembled a crew, and set sail for the imperiled realm. The flood arrived as foretold, and to their horror, the strangely churning waters drove the people towards the ocean. It was there, however, that Nurmkraft's crew hauled them aboard his ark, but the danger had not passed. The towering wave approached, threatening to smash the vessel to pieces. With only moments to spare, Nurmkraft wove a mighty spell of teleportation and shifted the entire ship safely atop Abathia's spine. Oh. Refugees from the surrounding regions huddled there alongside them, but it was not long before disputes over the dwindling supply of food led to violence and bloodshed. Sent by the sight, Nurmkath gathered his crew and his grateful passengers and abandoned the Ark to those reddened peaks. The journey, um, they journeyed to the north. Yeah, they journeyed to the coast where they built a new ship intent on returning to the northern seas. They landed on a beach on an island and settled upon that very spot. That settlement prospered and grew, and in time it became the city of Charlian we live in today. Uh, Roosevelt, the colony. Read the book, yes? Many years ago, on the banks of the Thaliac in the Dravanian hinterlands, a Charlian colony once thrived. This settlement was originally established as a mere outpost of, to study the Ethereal Sea in the year 1311 of the 6th, a 6th Astral Era. Scholars dispatched to Eorzea found facilities wanting, and their demands encouraged a gradually, gradual expansion of, in structures and services. As rumors spread of a growing community in academics, the area was further inundated with Eorzean students, hoping to share in the renowned wisdom of the Charlians. Fifty years later, the Forum passed a motion to recognize what had become a flourishing town as an official Charlene colony. Eorzean residents took to calling the colony itself Charlene, which led no small amount of confusion when discussion, <laughs> when discussion turned to the subject of the motherland. In response, some Charlene inhabitants, if pressed for a name, would simply refer to it as Emporium. Following the Great Exodus, exodus however, goblins and treasure hunters claimed, um, 
claimed for themselves a corner of the abandoned colony and gave it yet another name, Ildeshire. The following chapters go on to introduce the most prominent features of Ildeshire. The book does not appear to contain additional information on the forum or cover the history of Charlene, Charlene Motherland in greater detail. Alright, give me one second here. <sighs> I swear to God. I just need this to peel or just stop giving me trouble. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kai. Hi, you darling. Not yet. Uh, the voice of a growing city, yes. <laughs> in the many years which followed the founding of Charlie and civic policy and other matters of import were decided in the Ecclesi Ecclesi Ecclesia, a public forum in at which every citizen was eligible to speak. The city's population grew, however, this format became increasingly impractical. The larger number of participants gave rise to ever longer debates, resulting in significant delays of vital resolutions. I am enjoying the story a lot. It is very interesting. We've met some very interesting characters that I am so excited to see what happens with them. And I finished up the first leg of the, um, of the split storyline. And hopefully we're about to converge in another four or so hours. Possibly less than that. Various measures were introduced in an attempt to curtail protracted discussion, but in the year 201 of the Sixth Astral Area Era, it was ultimately decreed that Charlene would transition to a new form of governance. Is your husband still alive? Yes. The nation... We're actually doing the uh, quest that will involve him right now. The nation would be led by a body of 99 members, citizens chosen from amongst their peers by mean of nationwide vote. Thus, that was the forum as we know it today, conceived and created. Um, I did the Astinian quest first. I mean, valid. Introduction to the heavens? No. Forever 20 summers? No. Stewards of Wisdom? Yes. Very big library. During the chaos of the Sixth Umbral Era, Archon Nurmkev, founder of the Charlian, bore witness to the madness and savagery of men brought to the brink of despair. Upon raising a settlement on an island in the northern empty, he instructed his people thus, Renounce the ways of war and pursue enlightenment through knowledge and reason. The Charlians took uh, to heart the words of their savior and thenceforth served as stewards of wisdom. Upon a foundation of accumulated learning, they built home a homeland unlike any other, a nation born from the strength of minds rather than the strength of arms. With knowledge and economics uh, came shrewd, shrewd trading. With knowledge of agriculture came bountiful crops. Engineering brought wells and sewers, ending squabbles over water. Uh, wealth of expertise could be bartered for wealth of co uh, wealth in coin. And more there was some spread throughout the world, the more mankind as a whole th would thrive. And so it was that no matter how... Uh, no matter the trials and tribulations of the age, the citizens of Charlian would live by their founder's teaching for the sake of a better tomorrow, for the sake of a brighter star. They would es eschew tools of war with knowledge and deliver the world. You have gained a fundamental knowledge of the Charlian history and the foundation of the forum. Head inside and rendezvous, uh, head outside the rendezvous point and await your companions. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And now, since it's 9 o'clock, I will go ahead and take my meds. God, I've been streaming for six hours already. Sorry, were you waiting long? I wanted to make sure I'd borrowed at least a few promising volumes. Alphano and Cryo shall be along also should uh, should also be along shortly. No. I was delayed in a similar fashion. As far as I could see, no titles in the Archon stacks mentioned the final day specifically. So we have no choice but to start with a tangentially related relevant tomes, even if, if if they are that even that. At present, the plan is to skim through as quickly as we dare and share our discoveries as we make them. It'd be nice to invite everyone to the estate. Plenty of comfortable places to read, a, comp a ready supply of hot tea. <clears throat> oh, I was always quite fond of reading outside. <coughs> Throughout, we're not doing this right now. But it's not about the little pleasures, is it? You miss your home. It's been difficult. After our arrival, we managed to speak with one of the family servants and ask how things were. It seems our dear father has instructed the staff um, that even if Alphano and I were to return to Charlian, we were not allowed to be across. We were not to be allowed across the threshold. Harsh measure, in measure indeed. I hope that our efforts under to understand his position and that of the forum will perhaps lead to reconciliation. We'll mend this rift one day. I'm certain of it. Are you sure of that, baby girl? Like, legitimately, I will just kick your dad's ass and we'll take the house and then he can be out in the cold, disowned, where he belongs. What of you, Graha? Have you been to visit your family or do they not live here in the city? Ah, well, my situation was somewhat complicated. I was raised in Charlian, yes, but I was born rather further away. Yeah, agreed. Uh, agreed, I would say. I, I, <laughs> Elise. God, my brain today. It's not here. It's gone. Just send daddy. You'll take care of them. In the sou southern reaches of Ilsebard, in fact, for generations my people have dwelt in Corvos, the coastal region opposite the island of Than Thanvir. Yes. Yes, he did. I told you. He's fucking dumb. <laughs> the Alguns founded a city in that fertile land and by ship brought the sub uh, subjugated tribes of the Makote to serve as laborers. Of course, the massive earthquakes of the fourth umbral calamity brought an end to the empire's range and reign, and when the fifth calamity froze the seeds solid, many of the tribes still living in Corvos braved the journey back to Eorzea. Mori is very tall. My ancestors, however, chose to remain that they might prevent the remains of Algan technology from being misused. Isn't Corvos under Garlean rule? For the past 50, summer, 50 years, yes. Some semblance of local culture remains, as is the case for most imperial provinces, but Garlemald renamed the region Locus Eminus? Oh wait, are we gonna go meet Guaha family? I wanna meet Guaha family! When I was a boy, a nearby town came under the jurisdiction of an illustrious imperial family, the noble house of Darnus. Excuse me? The house Darnus demonstrated a singular interest in Algon civilization, and so my tribe was forced to consider a plan of action. For some time already, voices had been raised in favor of abandoning our ancient custom. After all, the Algon Eye no longer passed to our eldest children as reliably as it once had. 
Fear of discovery and eventually tip uh, fear of discovery eventually tipped the scales, and the decision was made to bury our ties to the knowledge of and traditions of Alug. As the last child born with the elegant eye, I was given over I was given over to the custody of friends of in the student of Baldessian who had me register as a Charlian citizen. I I I'm max height I'm max height bunny girl, which is like six foot three, I think. Um, and I mean, to be fair, at least he paid that much for a hairband and not, you know, 19 or 190k for meds. I never even considered. Forgive me. It was an unkind question. Even Thancred was taken in by Louis, Ar uh, Archon Louis Wall, was he not? Stories of adopted waifs and rescued orphans are more common among Charlians than you think. Yet, regardless of our origins, we were all provided with equal opportunity to learn, and with sufficient, uh, pers perspicacity? We outsiders can even earn the vaunted title of Archon. That's exactly why I love for the, uh, why I have such love for this country, in which and why I wish it to remain a nation of which its citizens can be proud. His little just ah, his little ear flicker. I love Grahatia so fucking much. How tall are Max Fimrose? Um, give me one second. Um. Okay, so, um, let's see, Femro max height is seven point, uh, seven inches, seven feet and almost four inches. Um, Viera, yeah, max height, um, Fem Viera is six three and change. What do you mean, Kai? So yeah. Even Viera um are shorter than Maxite Ellison, which Maxite Ellison Fem Ellison is almost uh six foot seven. And then Highlander is the next um closest in height to Viera, which being six foot uh six foot one. Rose get very tall. Yeah, max height uh, Fem Rose is actually taller than a max height male Aura. <sighs> Can I stop yawning, please? At least max height male Viera are shorter than the women, and I love that. Sleepy Fox a little bit. Hi, the difference between Ellison and Viera when not held next to each other is not very noticeable. Yeah. I mean, it's only three inches. And to be fair, the ears definitely give um, an illusion of more height. Although I think that this is minimum height, which minimum height difference between the two is only two inches. Or, yeah, it's only two inches, which I think that this is all min height. And then behind you see max height. So it's much more noticeable when they're max height. Here, here, another good reason to get to the bottom of the forum's stubbornness, aside from the trifling matter of our impending doom. Excuse us while we try to make some more headway into these books, Morgan. More company should be arriving any moment now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We've returned with our selections. 
Tim Roth being taller than male Roe, but also um, to be shorter than uh, female Midlander. That would be amazing. I, I really wish that they would just like expand the height ranges for most races. Um, you know, I mean, like, OK, we need more sliders for all races across the board. We need butt sliders, we need thigh sliders, we need boob sliders, we need height sliders that are expanded, we need muscle sliders for all races and genders. Like, please, please, I'm begging. Although I must say, the pickings were rather, were quite slim indeed. Mr. Kyle already flicked through every book devoted to disasters and more than a few which barely made mention of them. As such, we will be looking into research papers on the unborn calamities, as well as the articles written by prominent forum members. Perhaps their knowledge of the final days comes from an unexpected source. Speaking of which, might I ask you a few questions related to the final days? I'm the only one here who didn't witness the events of Amarat firsthand, and I fear that I may be overlooking critical details. You assume it would fuck with animations, though? I mean... They can tweak the animations. We're giving them enough money. I know. I know they do. My thanks. Now where to begin? First things first. What kind of phenomena did the ancients encounter as the final days drew nigh? Complete, uh, complete destabilization of creation magics. Uh, primals of unrivaled power power were summoned from the aether worst kind of phenomena you can a complete destabilization of creation magics yes the unfolding catastrophe wrought havoc on all manner of life the chaos extended to the ancients themselves causing their powers of creation to spiral out of control fear and despair manifested in terrible tangible fashion meteors raining from the sky fire erupting from the ground indescribable abominations prowling the streets I... I... Not... Really? Un unless you're talking about a different answer, like, he's just... Expanding on what you said. That more or less aligns with my understanding. If only uh, the arts of creation had survived until present day, we might have had something substantial to analyze. You picked a different answer? I mean... What answer did you pick, Moon? To the best of our knowledge, however, those techniques were not preserved. The primal one? I mean... They weren't primals, though. So, yeah, no. He was right to um actually you. The only primals that got summoned were Hydlin and Zodiark. The monsters that were that they brought forth, those were not primals. Those were just creation magics gone awry. Well, that's your own damn fault. Don't get mad at him for correcting you when you're wrong. Uh, those techniques were not preserved or passed on. Sholas surmises that the closest known magic is that of the ri summoning ritual uh, prom promulgated by the Asians. Tataro is not a primal. Was there aught else of note? Huh. Was there aught else of note which heralded the, the approach of the final days? The entire star was engulfed by a disaster all at once. They say it began with a keening sound from the land itself. Alvano, you can answer this one. It began with a keening sound from the land itself. Yeah? Ah, yes. The Amarantines spoke of it, didn't they? We never did hear this sound ourselves, of course, thrust as we were into the midst of the madness. But it seems that each and every one of the catastrophes was uh, preceded by this ominous, no, ominous noise. Even eventually it resounded all across the star and not even Amorat was spared. They shouldn't give me multiple choices then? Well, I mean, they give you the option to be wrong. So, like, don't be mad 
if you get it wrong and then you get corrected. So the ground was crying out, you say. To be considered the harbinger of doom, it must have been quite distinctive and probably quite loud. I'll have to speak with one of Nurmon's mamats and ask after any books that make mention of such a sound. Last but not least, what, uh, would you describe how the ancients sought to quell this unprecedented calamity? What definitive action did they take? Summon Zodiac, they summoned Hydaelyn, they knocked Talmud from the sky. They summoned Zodiac. Yes, with Elidibus serving his heart, so many gave themselves um, in sacrifice to bring him into being. Um, we do not know exactly how Zodiac brought salvation to the star, only that his godlike will were the laws of nature set aright. Um, then, once the balance was redressed, the ancients offered up a further sacrifice to heal the ravages of, from the final days. Life spouted anew, and it was these fledgling souls that they intended to render unto Zodiac a trade that would have allowed them to re uh, resurrect the shades of loved ones absorbed by the primal. Or it may have had Vinat and her followers not manifested their opposition in the form of Hydaelyn. Thank you, both of you, for the detailed review. I feel much more confident now in my understanding of events. With all that fresh in mind, does it it does make me wonder what the Tolofuroi truly mean when they uh, speak of bringing back the final days. We've seen what they're doing with those kind of power with those towers of theirs. Is forcing people to summon primals a kind of catalyst? Are they attempting to mirror the condition caused by unstable creation magics? Or are they simply using the final days as a figure of speech, a convenient metaphor for the scale of destruction they plan to unleash? But this is all just pointless, con pointless conjecture at this age stage. Let us return to our let us return our attention to the forum, shall we? We should keep an eye out for Ishtola, but uh, at this time we begin studying these research papers. Okay, I'm going to take another second. I um, my mom has been printing some papers out, so I want to get those to her, and I also need to go pee again. God damn it, coffee! But I'll be right back.
Oh no, did Elisa's internet die again? Alright, one more of these. Nah, okay. You're not fantasying back to Bunny Girl either, are you? I'm the last, am I? Well, un well, my extended search of the Archon stacks produced one or two possible, possibly useful books. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. Taking break, didn't want to take a spot because cues are probably not great. Yeah, that's very valid. If you recall, Orion J learned the, of the sources, reflections, and uh, from the Garun or oracles. From its potential, uh, potential to cause panic and confusion, the tome was deemed apocrypha and sealed away within the Great Gubal Library. It is even less likely that knowledge of the unsundered wood, not to mention the horrors of the final days, uh, would be left sitting... I read that so wrong, I moved wood up here. Um, would be left sitting on a shelf for any curious scholar to find. Yet it, stand, uh, it stands to reason that my colleagues, be they Archons or Counselors, should prefer be largely ignorant in the subject. Perforce be largely ignorant in the subject. Why are they using so many words that I don't know how to pronounce? Yet, when you confronted Master Fulchinal, um with knowledge of the Tolfroy and their machinations, he scoffed at the suggestion that they would pose a threat. He seemed adamant that the Forum would know if the final days were truly upon us. Which only supports the conclusion that whatever privileged wisdom is guiding the Forum's behavior is being kept secret from the rest of the nation. Not to mention that I... Um, not that I meant to excuse myself from reading duty. Um, whether they contain mentions of the final days or no, these books could yet hold something of value. You weren't thinking of leaving, were you? There's plenty of work for everyone. What? Me? Read? Perish the thought. Actually, of my walls, um... Of all of my characters, um, Morgan would be the only one that is fully literate. Mira, not so much. Wilhelmina, not so much. Um, Money Boy, definitely not. He, uh, <laughs> he's lucky if he spells his own name right, and I haven't even given him a name yet. Nikaido knows how to read, but Nikaido is also not, uh, canonically from Eorzea. You labor for what feels like an age as Ishtola's research assistant. Wait, who's got the symbol? Oh, it's Kryl. Are there just two bunny boys here? Hold on. Oh dear, you look exhausted, but what of your studies? Were you able to find any books on the subject I mentioned? Then the day was well spent. Should you read, should you wish to read them again, a mamet at the reference desk will point you in the right direction. For the moment, though, I suggest you take a well-deserved rest. We might be occupied with our research for quite some time. Look at the bunny boys! Oh my god! Bunny! They're slowly starting to populate. Ready for a tea break, Morgan? I know I am. Honestly, my neck and shoulders are gonna calcify if I don't stretch my legs and walk around for a bit. You know the last stand down by the harbor, don't you? Come and meet me near the outside tables and I'll treat you to their coffee. It's quite good. <gasps> I'm gonna go get coffee with Alize. Also, darling baby girl, should you even be having coffee? You're 16. I didn't start drinking coffee until I was in my 20s. Oh, uh, 
let's see. Yeah, Scholar's Harbor. I really like the new Aethernet menu. That is a very naked cat boy. As busy as ever, I see how very Charlian that no other gourmet cafe has sprung up uh, to compete for customers. Actually, this crowd gives me an idea. Before we place an order, why don't we ask a few questions and gauge the mood of the city? I'm, te I'm interested to see what the average citizen has to say about the Tlofaroi. We might even learn something new. Worth a try, don't you think? Alize is now accompanying you. Keep her at your side in order to proceed with the quest objectives. You can leave Alize behind. Well, we know all this. Um, but does this mean that we get we get moments to where we can talk with my darling baby girl? I don't want to immediately go do that stuff. If there's a chance to chatter, oh no, it doesn't look like it. Boo! I want to hold a conversation with Alize. Oh, is that the sc oh. oh no, that's the Kokodo Doggy. Huh. That reminds me a lot of the Skyless Coat. Um wait, what what is it? Can a man not enjoy a moment of private respite? If you're looking to share a table, then I respectfully request that you look elsewhere. You misunderstood, sir. We're simply wondering if you knew of the Tulofaroi. These enemies of peace that have promised an end to all that we hold dear, and... Wait, you're that House Levia girl, aren't you? And this woman with you is obviously a foreigner. Hm. If I had heard that you were disowned for helping outsiders indulge their barbaric whims... Um... And here you are giving truth to the rumor. I'll thank you to leave me be. I have not to say to the likes of you. Well, sir, you're about to meet the bad end of my sword if you insult my daughter again. Well, I must apologize. It was foolish of me to accept an ounce of civility from so, uh, one so enlightened. Come, Morrigan. Yeah, no. He is on my shit list and I will murder him later. Yes, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Pray excuse the interruption, but we were hoping that you might share your thoughts on the Tulofaroi and their unconscionable plans. My goodness, if it isn't the love, isn't the young Miss Levier. My apologies, but I work for the offices of the forum, and if word reached Master Fotenolt that I was helping you... I see, we're sorry to have bothered you. Well... While the customers have been decidedly uncooperative, maybe the staff would be more willing to answer our questions. Sir, your name. <laughs> Welcome, madam. What can I offer you today? Wait, is that Mr. Salazé I see there? My word, how long has it been? Far too long. Meet Dickon, the owner of The Last Stand. I used to frequent his cafe on occasion, in between lessons at the studium. That seems like an age ago now. I remember hearing that you and Master Alfano had set sail for Eorzea, but, uh, but then you never came back. Lately, there's been gossip about your father disowning the pair of you. Is everything all right at home? It's complicated, and I haven't, and I hadn't expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation quite uh, so quickly. Everyone has an opinion, it seems. Well, it is House Levier. No matter how discreet Master Fortunal may have been, the news of your family's doing never stays secret for long. Things being that they were, what brings you back to the city now of all times? I 
have qu we have questions then only Charlene has the answer. Tell me, Master Dickon, have you heard anything about the apocalypse called the final days? What, like the end of the world? Nothing like that, I'm afraid. And that's what you're here to find information on this apocalypse? Yes, whatever we can learn. Unfortunately, your patrons appear to be unwilling to speak with me. I wish there was more that I could do to help. Hmm, but maybe there is. You're a visitor to Charlene, aren't you? Uh, then few will know your face. We should be able to pass you off as a server with none the wiser. We just finished preparing a few orders. Strike up some friendly conversation while you're settling down the food and you might just get the answers you're looking for. Not a bad idea. I hate to ask, but what do you think? That's the spirit. Pay attention now and I'll explain where each of these dishes needs to go. The tea set is for the chatty group sitting by the water's edge. The omelet is for one of our regulars, a Highlander by the name of Gisla. She's sitting outside, um, sitting at an outside table with a friend of hers. Behind them, you shall see a Mikote gentleman. He, he ordered the oven baked lobster. Got all that? If you're not sure, just ask and I'll explain again. Good luck. Tea set, omelet. Okay. Let's see. Um. No, since Alize is not with me. Tea set. Oh, my tea set. Lovely. Thank you. The Talafa who? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of them or their final days. My friends and I are somewhat uninformed when it comes to current events. Now, if you want to hear about the ritual uh, about ritual arcane practices of the sixth astral era or common esoteric common or esoteric, then I'd be happy to talk your ear off. Also, can I just be very annoyed at this bit of XP that I need? The omelet? Ah, finally, two, four, six, eight. Let's dig in. It's no time to waste. What the Telephory? Ah, oh, yes, I remember seeing that name in the latest Gazette. That and some grand claim about the end of days. Seeing uh, same old scentless warmongering. Then when will these fools grow tired of spilling each other's blood? Best day out of it, I say. The forum made the right choice, and I fully support our decision to remain neutral. Yeah. Oh. And you just stay partially zoomed in here. Urban banter with a smile. <laughs> oh, the oven baked lobster. At last, the oven baked lobster is mine. You have no idea how long I've scrimped and saved and suffered to afford this heavenly dish. The final days, this is the first I've heard of it. The uh, although that would explain why my friend's been rushed off his feet. It must be a busy time to be a gleaner. Hmm, you don't want a gleaner as they're collectors of a sort. Travel the world procuring things that we haven't got here in, in Charlie and priceless books, unusual life specimens, and so forth. So named for the folk who trail after um, the reapers in the fields, uh, picking up every grain which was missed. I, by all accounts, gleaning is the most meticulous and demanding profession. If these Telophori make good of, on their audacious threats, then many uncategorized rarities could be lost forever. Why else would the gleaners be buzzing about in such a frenzy? Watch the harbor and you'll see what I mean. They're carting loads of stuff in um, from the docks by the day. It's never been this hectic before, not like this. Well, we got some knowledge. Any trouble with the customers? Were you able to get anyone talking? Um, interesting. They seem unaware of the final days from whatever vague news the gazettes are printing. 
Even Dickon had nothing to offer, and he's the best sort of source of gossip in the city. Hmm. If the Forum does have secret knowledge, they have done an impressive job of ensuring no one whispers it in the wrong ear. In any case, thank you for playing uh, the part so well. Here's here, uh, here that cup of coffee I promised. I will hide wait right quick. <sighs> but let's enjoy our drinks somewhere else, uh, shall we? Maybe behind the peristyle, away from the gossip gossips and their waggling tongues. Oh, down there. Ah! Yes, this should do nicely. Out of the wind and out of sight. Want to leave work and make your bunny voice so much? Understandable. Oh, this is cute! When our father disowned us, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in, that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlien? Grahal said that the Forum was determined to keep us in the dark, and that Father's venomous performance was part of that strategy, to keep us at arm's length. Perhaps it was. Father argued with Grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice. So all I could do was fume silently. It was only afterwards that I realized how childish I had been, how being stubborn and self-righteous must run in the family. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like it. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently. I have a feeling we just learned something very interesting. They must be fairy and goods to Labyrinthos. A vast complex beneath the island. Charlian is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Well, that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Uh huh. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. Wait, didn't you hear something in the last smuggle the time? Mm -hmm. Going more than usual. Ugh. I still don't know if I'm happy with these headphones, but God, they're the only thing that I can use right now. I think they're the ones we saw manning those boats. And Gleaners answer to the Forum. If the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden burst of activity, 
then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the Forum is planning. New headphones on throne? No, um, these are some that I bought, um, for, uh, during the Black Friday sale. They're really nice, and I do think that they've got somewhat better sound than my old ones. My only problem is my old headphones broke, and I'm... <sighs> I'm torn between whether I want to make another attempt at trying open back headphones or not. Because there are some pretty nice semi open back headphones, but in burn dynamic. But I'm just. Eh. I like I like noise cancellation and isolation. Because like it gets very loud around my house. Might just have to wear them in, maybe. I think my biggest issue is that I am a very, very big bass head. Um, so not having big thumpy bass with these is kind of fucking me up. Because I quite love big thumpy bass. And that was something that my, uh... My old headphones had in spades. But, um... For reference, the ones that I have are the DT um, 770, uh, yeah, 177X Go. Um, they're burn dynamics that were tuned by drop. Um, you have some new info for the wiki? Oh no. Um, and like, they are really nice. They have like deep, like, you. <laughs> You need some new info for the week wiki why <laughs> what info do you need um but like i like them quite a bit and they say that these are tuned much better than the um 770s um or 1770s um so i'm glad i got this version but it's also like <sighs> i don't know i don't know Only the fo- Why have so many people asked that recently? Also, let me wiggle. You don't see human ears here, do you? They're only the fox ears. You're like the fourth person to ask that. Um, we should tell the others what we've learned about the gleaners. Go ahead to Neuromon. I'll join you in a moment. Mr. Dickon will want his cups back. Uh, just go pass out and not worry too much about cues. Yeah. Bunny boy! Uh, studium. Oh my god. No. 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 I am ignoring that that is a thing that fucking exists. I just, I don't know. Like, um, I have heard, like, really good headphones before. Like, I have heard, um, Breeze, like, $3,000 headphones, but dear god, I am not wanting anything like that. I wouldn't mind, a d I wouldn't mind having at least a secondary pair. Um, I just don't know what they even start looking at. Because, like, audiophile headphones are not necessarily good for gaming, and gaming headphones are not a necessarily good for being an audiophile. And I just want, like, a pair that works for both because I'm fucking lazy. Ah, <gasps> bunny boy! Like, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's cute! Oh, they're both cute. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're cute. Sir, are you st One of those moments where I wish I had the targeting thing on. <laughs> We're not having that convo here. 
Uh, welcome back, Morrigan. Been for a walk and cleared your head, have you? Not exactly. We did some impromptu investigating and turned up information on the gleaners. Although I predict that people aren't reading this right now because... Yeah, no. I did at least get a handful of hits on my thick last night, so that makes me feel pretty good. Um, it makes sense. The gleaners take their requests directly from, the in from institutions and bureaucrats, but as you say, they ultimately answer to the forum. A sudden and significant increase in gleaner traffic and in cargo, it certainly gives the impression of an overarching plan being put into motion. Let's see what theory we can build from the facts. As Tola observed earlier, Nurmon's archives appear to contain no more information concerning the final days. Coupled with what Morrigan and Alize learned at the last stand, we can be reasonably sure that the Charlians know nothing of that particular period of ancient history. Nero and Sinister writing fix yourself. I mean, there should be plenty running around for them. Uh, yet my father and his colleagues are not only familiar with the final days, but are also somehow certain that the destruction being perpetrated by the Tolofaroi is wholly unlike these apocalyptic events. <laughs> True. Moreover, the forum claims to be so occupied by duty of such pressing importance that they saw fit to unanimously deny Eorzea's request for aid. And now the gleaners and gleaners official agents of the state have been mobilized on an unprecedented scale. I don't think it is a stretch to conclude that the gleaners' recent activities are in service uh, to the forum's secret events. In which case, our next course of action seems obvious. We visit Lavarenthos and assess the, assi the, assess the situation for ourselves. And if we're lucky, the gleaners will be far more receptive to our questions. A fine idea. What should we expect down there? Anything would be better than burying my head in another dusty book. What should we expect down there? Oh, I would hate to spoil the surprise. As for myself, there are a few more subjects I would like to research, and I may join you later, but feel free to leave behind your borrowed books and be on your way. I'll see that each is returned to its proper place. No, thank you, Graha. That would be a great help. Thank you, Raha. I'm very surprised that Kryle doesn't call Alphano like Alfie or something of the sort. Let us head down the stairs over there. I'll show you where the entrance is. Well, y'all have officially had me for seven hours so far. Understandable, at least. Mm -hmm. Ready, Lamberinthos is not too far from here, but you may find the path a bit disorienting. I'll take the lead, so stay close. Follow as they and try not to fall. fall uh, try not to fall behind. Off we go then. This is not a brisk walk. It's pleasant here amongst the trees, but we really should move along. Now we run. Try to keep up. There we go. I was like, Alize is not going to like straight keep to the path straight on ahead. I was gonna say she's not gonna keep us like just slow walking here. We cross this bridge.
up here. <laughs> Same, Kai. Thrust, uh, Rostra, not far now. are like five foot tall like I am not short I'm not even remotely average height I don't know here we are through the store and down the stairs you did remember to attune to the shard back there didn't you it would make your life much easier if you need to come back in a hurry otherwise we should keep moving I'm fairly certain I did. Let me just double check. Okay, yeah, I just... I haven't gotten Journey's End, and that's the only one, I think. You wish Fantasia's existed, I are all same. Also same. I would be a Fantasia Iodic IRL. Like, do I feel like being a dude today? Cool. How many people would just be Shrek? Probably a not small amount. We're all here now, yes? I've taken the liberty of securing permission for our group's descent. Right, onto the lift and um, and down we go. More than five and that concerns you? Yet again, a not small amount. Deep beneath the scholar's city shines a false sun within a fabricated sky. <gasps> In any age exist those who consider the floor an extension of their bookshelves. And this vault's architects surely belonged to that special breed. This is where this is. Okay. If the stack grows too high, start a new one. If no room remains, then make more rooms. A simple solution at first. I've missed this voice so much. A profound transformation. Oh my god, Kai. If you invent Fantasia IRL, you'd be rich. Very. Large, a growing, creeping labyrinth from which there is no escape. Think about all of the things you would be fixing for people, like, if you, like, made Fantasia's IRL. That's weight change, height, um, you know, gender. If somebody doesn't like their eyes, if somebody doesn't like their nose, like, just... Why did Ratman become the nader narrator? Because we killed him. Not what you expected. No more I transphobia. Unfortunately, that would still exist. That it, un unfortunately, people are still people, and people are shitty. And there would be people who think that Fantasia is, you know, unnatural and changing all these ways is all wrong, and it's just fucking shove it. But then we'd be getting rid of the whole like plastic surgery complex and that's good it would be a lot harder mm -hmm. but i assure you that we are beneath charlian itself the breeze you feel the flowing waters you hear all created by the hand of man i mean legitimately i i just i'm glad that we have him back in any form even if it's just narrating like i just I miss him. I, mi I miss Emet Selk so much. I understand why he needed to die, but still. Such an interesting character. The island is volcanic, you see. 
And once upon a time, this great hollow must have been a reservoir for magma. It was discovered some 400 years ago, at which point it was repurposed as a storage facility for scrolls and samples and such. Renovations have continued, with nigh or no interruption to this day, with the lower levels still undergoing expansion. Yep, they absolutely would be, at least, like, anything to justify their bigotry. Which, bigotry has no justification. You're just a fucking asshole and you need to, like, get your life together and stop worrying about other people. Nice no, in heaven making out with Archifon. Archifon wouldn't touch a Met Selk with a 10 foot pole. Also, I don't I don't know if Asian souls go back into the life stream. So it could very well be that, you know, his soul is literally destroyed. Or not literally destroyed, but in definitely hell. I don't think I don't think that we have a heaven or a hell here, at least. It is in the life stream or, you know, out of the life stream. Because they were going to like a a pocket between um the life stream and um the the world you know the living breathing world um for them to like come back um we have a hell for sure well i mean that's party finder they do anything the whole thing for white orosite was you couldn't push them into the live stream without Flooding them with Aether. I just, I don't know. Are raid tiers really going to be taking place there in Endwalker? I thought, I didn't think that Pandemonium was hell. I thought the Pandemonium was supposed to be, um, La Habrea's research facility. Or not La Habrea's research facility, but like. Hell, it's just Ulda. You're not wrong. Aren't those people gleaners? As the markings of hell and such, apparently. I mean, but that doesn't mean that it's hell. I, judging by their dress, they are said to work alone as a rule, but would seem that rule is being enthusiastically broken today. It may be as you suspected, that they are engaged in a task apart from the norm. Mahi Brea. <laughs> Kai. Let's spread out and get some answers then. Kryle? Did you call to me just now? No. No? How odd. I must be a bit dizzy from the descent. I don't like this. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's get to work, shall we? I guess. carry her I would if I could but unfortunately the game won't let me but god we're finally in Ekranthos um let me actually talk to Elf no excuse me are you a gleaner if you don't mind I have some questions to ask actually I might need to take another minute here um Unfortunately, my stomach is deciding to act up, so I will be right back real quick. <laughs> 